Open Your Eyes is brought to you by the Belize Bank. Our country, your bank. Good morning and welcome to Open Your Eyes. Start your morning, right? I'm John Palacio. And I'm April Martinez. And Good thank morning. you for joining us this morning. Yes, hi John. Hi April. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I love it, love it, love it. You love it, love, love it, like it love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness, I love it like Jenny. <laughs> That's right, but it's a beautiful morning out. Yes. Uh, Did it rain? No, uh, well, slight drizzling. I saw that in my vehicle, but nonetheless, um, the weather is beautiful, April. It's, it's nice weather. Yeah. It's not too, well... In the mornings, I feel like it's not too hot, it's not too cold. You have that sense of calm and coolness and niceness in the morning. But, you know, as soon as 8 o'clock traffic hit, a uh, different ball game. Yeah, when you're tell okay. me about it, tell me about it. But, you know, April, there is always that, that ray of hope. So mm. while we might feel that, um, you know, traffic could, could actually uh, derail your time and your speed and whatnot, there is a learning lesson in that. It yeah. simply means that you leave early. Or my, my thing about that is that uh, you're never, God is so good that you're never at the spot you are not supposed to be mm. when you are not supposed to be there. Run you, that you, by me You got again. it? You got it? Run that by me one I said more that time. God is so good that even though you're supposed to be at a particular spot, you're supposed to be here for, and we, we went through that story a while ago, uh, for a certain time, both of us. Mm. But sometimes we might be derailed by traffic. Mm. And to calm my mind from such thing, I say that God is good. Listen to me. I say that God is good, that uh, I feel that I am not supposed to be at that place when I'm not supposed to be there. You're never at a spot. You are not supposed to be when you're not supposed to be there. I think you just confuse everybody in there. I confuse the enemy. Yeah, 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 enemy you confuse everybody in there. You confuse you're Rick, never, you confuse right, V. Right, V? Right, V? That's, that's my girl. That's my girl. But again, sometimes you feel like that is where you're supposed to be. Mm. But you're ne like, you always, get the, you always get the stoppage in roads. You know, I, oh, and then you're rushing. Oh, I want to be there. I want to be there. But God is good. Because for me, that if I, was suppo if I was to be at that particular spot, maybe something could have happened. And a lot of people could lose lives. Yeah. So you're never supposed to be at that spot when you're not supposed to be there. I mean, it goes hand in hand with better late than never. Better late than never. And, yeah. and then that comes into place. It's like put your sugar. No, you put your water. You put some Milo. And then the better late than never is actually uh, that sugar. You get where I'm coming no, from? No, that boy, like, you're completely you, you, like, you're again? I don't drink Oh, that, my no. goodness. Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> saying. If it's tea, if it's chai, if it's whatever yeah. you are. But you want to be there. It's bothering your mind that, you know what, man, I'm supposed to be there and traffic did this and traffic mm. did that because when we're late, then we notice traffic slow. Yeah. And you're this <laughs> There's and then always you're something and when you're yes. rushing. Yes. But you're never at the spot you're not supposed to be when you're not supposed to be I never think about that. I always say... God is good, man. I, I agree. But I, I guess in, in, in your mind while you're in that moment trying to get to your destination or trying to get to that, to that place on time, mm -hmm. you know, all you can think about is... Why do these things happen when I am in a hurry? Beautiful. Why do I have to? And then you don't really stop and think, maybe I shouldn't be there. Yeah. At that, at that, po yeah. At that particular point, because that could have been the demise yeah. for a lot of people. And so that way for me, and you know how I think, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if there's anybody out there who knows how I think, you don't want to be. <laughs> Positive. But, is but, all but, but, but that's, that's the mindset. Like, I need to be at this spot. But every time I know that I'm weaving the traffic, there is something that stops. Then all of a sudden, there's a Dalavan that the CV joint come out. And yeah. I'm not at that spot. Yeah. But man, I need to get there. But God is good. And that is your message. And I always tell a lot of people this. Right? And I'm so thankful for, 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 for my aunt Catalina Reyes, you know, for teaching us these things. These are great principles for you to have, so for you to not be uh, uh, derailed by negativity. Mm. You're never at the spot you're not supposed to be when you're not supposed to be there. Right. God is good. God is good. Ray of, ray of, uh, a ray of uh, hope. You know, we, we, every morning we get on here and we talk about what some of the stories in the news. Mm -hmm. And we talk about what's hot or what's buzzing and stuff like that. But always in the buzzing spot, 
there is always something that uh, could give us hope. Yeah. We could talk about robotics. That is a huge ray of hope because mm -hmm. our boys and girls went out there. Once one particular college went out there on the top stage in Switzerland, April, and they place first in robotics something that believes they even we didn't put our mind upon that yet. We haven't even thought about it. We didn't even it. think yeah. about it. Yeah. You know, we're 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 slowly getting into coding. Yeah. And then now robotics and and when you see these people uh, came in yesterday, it was with all these cheers and and, and joy it, it and was love a and laughter. Big welcome parade. Yes. But um, I like for people to understand that when we see these folks out there like that, and. When there is a when there is a, yeah, I guess on coffee. <laughs> when there is a, a, a group that's leaving this country, April, they've put in their work. Yeah. And you never know where they're going to place. Hmm. But they've got a positive Belizean mind that they're going for the big W. I, and check them out. I, I really loved um, the, the interview. I think it was um, Marion that did the interview with them and one of the the students said that they had the biggest flag, <laughs> Belize had the biggest flag there. So it was kind of like fate that they were going to win gold because they were in the center. They had, the, our country had the biggest flag out there. Yes. And the, the fact that they were just beaming with all that pride, right? And they already have that confidence that, you know what? We're going back next year. Yeah. And it's going to be bigger and it's going to be better. Bigger and better. But, but, it, it, it takes for things like this to happen so people could understand but a lot of times these teams, these teams, it doesn't matter what uh, sporting activity or what activity they're going out mm -hmm. to do, they would come to us for sponsorship. Yeah. And we'd be reluctant because we do not believe at that particular point. And then they go out there with the mindset that they, their coach have set them up to. And they win these things at the highest level. And then everybody is with cheers and joys, forgetting that they were ambassadors when, they're not, when they were not in their country. Mm -hmm. When they're out there representing, they're an ambassador to this country. Yeah. So when they come to you for sponsorship, even if it's a dollar, you feel great you know, knowing that you've contributed, April. I, I appreciate that you said that because one of the things that, that we kind of forget that there's so many different people in Belize and, and in the diaspora that are doing things that are outside the box. Robotics is 100% outside, outside the box. Outside the box, And we, we, don't, we don't necessarily think about them. We don't necessarily highlight them um, until they have big wins like this. Exactly. And what I, I have to appreciate what you said in terms of if somebody comes that you, you've never heard of them. You've never heard about the things that they do, but they are asking you for support so yes. that they can go out there and represent. Yes. Don't turn them away just because... You've never heard. You've never heard or, you, or don't believe, you don't believe in or that. Or you don't or, think that it's going yeah. to work or you don't understand what they're doing. You know, they, they, we are so happy and so proud of these boys and we expect bigger and better from them, but they can't do that without, without the support. Without support. Community support. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Have you ever represented, I'm sure you did, represent this country on the highest stage and when you see a flag, as I was a football player and we were out there when we were playing football and, and, and when you see your flag, April, when you see your flag, that's, that's like a stadium full of people. Once yeah. that flag is flying there and, it, you know, playing left back on the, on the football field and people are cheering for the other team on that side and you look up on that flag and that is you and that, that 300, that, that 400,000 people right there. I that was, flag um, represents that. I, when you said that, I, I had to laugh because when I, when I went to school, um, we did like a, com, a country, country tally, right? Um, yeah. you, you stand up to represent your country um, because it was an international um, podium, right? Mm -hmm. And all of these other big countries, you have at least 10 or so people standing up that they're there, representative. And then the lady, Hala Belize, and I just did my Lee Henry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the people never even heard, heard of about the country before. And so it was with great joy to say, yes, yes. that's my face. Oh and my that goodness. is what these boys are feeling. And now that we know, and now that we have seen their potential, we got them back. There is also a U21 team. Uh, who are out, I think they're out for volleyball. Mm -hmm. I saw something like us of that sort on social media yesterday. And we want to rally behind these guys yes. because trust me, they're, they're representing this country. And when they say, uh, you know what, this country win, it's just not, it's, or this team win, it's not, the, not only the team, but an, but an entire country, April. I agree, 100%. Yes. And but just... Uh, but just? But no, but just keeping in line with that vision of hope of and what hope. we can do as a community yes. to support our peers. Um, another news uh, news item, item yeah. that came out last night was that of um, young little Choi. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, the the Jaziel. Jaziel. Yes. And you know, six years old, mm -hmm. 
finally won his fight against cancer. Cancer, leukemia. Leuke and I'd, I'd, I'd like for us to pull that story up and, and, and run that story if we could, uh, Rick. Um, I, I, I came here driving en route to and I felt that, that I felt that vibe of hope. And I yeah. felt that there are so many parents right now, April. There are so many parents right now who might not know what their child is suffering with. Or mm -hmm. the child might have been diagnosed. But we don't feel the ray of hope. Especially when they're in the bed and they're crying or you feel like you're, you're not able to do anything for them. This is what that family actually went through. But today's date... Because they saw the light at the end of the tunnel, they were actually out of that pipe. Yeah. They were actually out of that stifleness. I mean, the, the mother said um, when, her, when she saw her husband leave with their son, she wasn't sure if he, if was, he was going, going to, to come back. back. And, and I, again, I am not a parent. I can only imagine that fear and also that feeling of hope mm -hmm. once everything was said and done and that bell rung. So... The, I, we, yes, we're, we're going to run that story, but I'd like for folks to look at that story. Maybe it was all the way at the end of the news, and maybe you mm -hmm. missed it. Maybe you had things to do, but you might be going through the exact situation as we speak. Mm -hmm. So here we go with a ray of hope. This story is actually done and well put together by Dwayne Moody. Mm -hmm. Check this out. As the echoes of the ringing bell permeated the Dangria Cancer Center and into the neighborhood, it was a signal that yet another child had beaten one of the most deadly diseases in Belize, cancer. For six-year-old Jaziel Cho and his family, it is a hurdle that they've overcome and a reason to celebrate after two years of treatment for the young boy and getting past the anxiety of whether or not he would survive. I feel like a little more like my life is normalizing because it, 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 when it hits, everything changes. Uh, I had to quit my job, I had to, you know, I, I couldn't be regular again. And so knowing that we got to this stage, um, not only uh, for him, but for other children coming behind, I would always encourage him you know, to, to, to keep, keep on um, not losing the faith because it is possible. Uh. A miracle for the Chuff family. Jazelle started exhibiting symptoms from the age of two but the COVID pandemic prevented them from getting a diagnosis and his health condition deteriorated. After months of research, not being able to get out of the country due to travel restrictions, Juan Carlos Cho says he had to make a most difficult decision, leave his wife and other children behind in an attempt to save one of their sons. We kept random visits to the, to the hospital, not knowing what he had, uh, fever, 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 and infections, and there was never a diagnosis. Um, the last diagnosis we got from Belize was it was a, um, a chronic, um, not, not a chronic, sorry, uh, anemia, uh, chronic anemia or something. So uh, they, they had asked us to look for a hematologist, uh, oncologist actually. Um, so we did uh, random visits to, to neighboring Mexico where, where we did not have any much luck. Um, then along came COVID and uh, we're, we're on a national lockdown. I see my child uh, health deteriorating and I'm not sure what to do. As a parent, you're scared, uh, applied for an exit, an emergency exit, and which came like a month after. By then I was a bit worried because he kept bleeding out uh, and we had to start doing transfusions. And I could recall uh, being at the uh, Western Regional Hospital when I got the, the news that I am able to come out of the country. Within two days, the father rushed Jazelle to Merida, where he was finally diagnosed with lymphoblastic leukemia in June 2020. When he got there, his cancer was in an advanced state and his chances of survival were slim. And as anyone would know, the battle was not as easy. When he got there, he was probably in an advanced state. Uh, that even the doctors there did not really, um, they did not believe that he was actually strong enough to make it through the first what phase. Was um, I can't recall if it was already on a second, but uh, something about 80, 87% leukemia in his body already. And because um, this is a this is a cancer of the uh, of the lymphoblast lymphoblast right, the white blood blood cells and he began bleeding and, and, and having a lot of symptoms similar to COVID and 
uh, thankfully it wasn't, but it was something worse. Um, again, he got in a critical situation. We had to have him all hooked up and, and, and on a 24 hours um, observation for almost three months, I think. He, he couldn't eat. It was hard though. That's, that, that is with a ray of hope. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you saw the family, you know now what they've been through, and your family might just be going through the same thing. But I, we ran the story simply because we believe that we know, or actually we know that you are able to, to, to try and garner that, 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 that healing spirit that you need for your family to prevail. Because these things can be beaten. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is to continue to have hope. Mm. I like the. I, I don't think that it was said in this particular part of the story, but the, um, the father highlighted that um, his son showed strength that he didn't even realize. He didn't realize, like he, he was stronger had. than him. Yes, and I think that that's one of the things that we forget that kids can, kids, kids are strong, and it's that ray of hope, mm -hmm. it's that innocence and that belief that it will get better yeah. that keeps them going, yeah. and that is something that adults struggle with, but kids they have it. It's a, it's a form of innocence almost. Yeah. Um, and so we, we are so thankful and of course congratulations to um, Aziel for beating cancer. Yeah. And hopefully Jaz Jaziel, Jaziel yeah. for beating Jaziel. cancer. And um, we, we will follow him up because yeah. of course, yes, it's over, but treatments still Tre continue. Treatment continues. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, we do hope that we motivate you there and we hope that yeah, at least for that particular moment, you got a ray of hope. Let today be that day whereby mm -hmm. you've got some hope within your heart and be able to, 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 to actually dispense that to, to other families. Say hi, say good morning, say I love you. These things are very important and they also channel hope. All mm -hmm. right. Speaking of hope, what do you say we channel some uh, motivation, motivation with the <laughs> eye opener? The eye opener is actually taken from dailyarm.com and it goes like this and it's referring to you. Check this out. Simply going through the motion of life puts us directly in the passenger seat when we should really be in the driver's seat. Hmm. It's easy to go through this fast-paced world feeling as if you are being dragged through your days on the back of a wild horse. Many of us go from one thing to another until we end up back at home in the evening with just enough time to wind down and go to sleep waking up the next morning to begin the wild ride once more. While this can be exhilarating for certain periods of time, a life lived entirely in this fashion can be exhausting and more importantly, it places us in the passenger's seat when we are the ones who should be driving. Taking time to view the bigger picture, asking ourselves if we are happy with the course we are on, and making adjustments to put us back in the driver's seat where we belong. Of course, time spent examining the big picture could lead us to see that we are happy with the road we're on, but that we would like more, more time with family or more free time to do whatever we want at the moment. Even if we want more extreme changes, the way to begin is to get off the road for a long enough or for long enough to catch our breath and remember who we are and what we truly want. Once we do that, we can, we, we can take the wheel with confidence, driving the speed we want to go in the direction that is right for us. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I do think that sometimes it's not that we purposely put ourselves in the passenger seat, it's sometimes we feel that we don't have control. Yeah. You know, there's so many things that happen in life that, you know, perhaps a, a death in the family, perhaps somebody gets sick, yeah. perhaps um, you get fired from your job. These are all things that they're not within your scope of control and you feel that it's all spiraling out and you don't have that. And so it's not that you choose to take the passenger seat it's just sometimes you're not even paying attention yeah that yeah you're totally right yeah. I, I i love the way you sum that up sometimes we're not paying attention to it yeah. but sometimes when we feel because there is a feel that you are in the passenger seat mm -hmm. and there is that feel that you're actually driving mm -hmm. but it also alludes to the fact that sometimes you stop on the road you take that deep breath and you look down the road mm -hmm. and that's when you'll be able to see it clearlier you know when you're in the driving seat or when you're the driver of whatsoever automobile or whatsoever, 
you've got a front row to actually see what the road is. You also feel but sometimes you feel responsible. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's best to park at the side of the road. Look down the road to see what the elements are, mm. and then it gives you a better chance for you to continue as the driver. Mm. That was a great eye opener, great motivation. It makes for great conversation. Have that conversation with your peers and see how far it will take you. Perfect. All right. A look at the weather, what do you say? Let's look at the weather. We're going to find out exactly what the weather is going to be like very shortly to let you know uh, how to carry on your day or for the next 24 hours or few days to I, see what's going on. I happen. need them to tell me what's going on. I do, because you don't know already, I usually get a synopsis right before mm -hmm. <laughs> I come on this show. And it was very, very foggy, and it got really, really bright. I thought it rained in the city, because you know when they fill up the potholes and then rain come and then all of I'll the stuff I'll just, just dry. That's what happened. Pot. So like yesterday, the potholes were filled, and now, now today they're not. So yeah, I have a feeling it. that it rained. Um, but yes, the, the weather... <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> that's my experience. I don't want you to butt up my beliefs, you know. <laughs> I don't butt up, I'm just, it's, it happens in Belmopan too. Yeah. It happens everywhere. Yeah. You can't drive around this country without going to a big pothole. You're, you're, yeah. you're, that, you know what? You I've been to New York and uh, I've met some potholes there too. Yeah. Uh, I could remember going over, if I'm not the White Plains Bridge and bang, flat. Creator. Because we actually ran into a pothole. <gasps> and so we had to try and get on the side and try to get that fixed up and whatnot. So... It happened in every part of the world, but, man. But that's that how I know you're in. That's how I know you're in. And, and that's why I asked you this morning, are you sure it didn't? <laughs> All right, so we've got the recording of the, of the weather. Here we go. Later, expect an increase in shower activity as a weak cold front approaches the country. The 24-hour forecast for Belize and her coastal waters calls for sunny skies today with a few cloudy spells. High temperatures today are expected to reach 87 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 90 inland and 82 over the mountains. Tonight skies will be cloudy at times with low temperatures of 76 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 70 inland and 66 in the higher elevation. Shower activity will be isolated this morning. During the afternoon and evening, a few showers and thunderstorms will develop over inland areas. Tonight and tomorrow morning, expect a few showers and isolated thunderstorms along with periods of rain to develop over most areas. A flood warning continues for communities along rivers in central and northern Belize. The winds will blow from the northeast at 5 to 15 knots and the sea state will be slight. A low tide occurred at 12.43 p.m. and a high at 6.53 in the evening. Low tide occur at 3 minutes past midnight and a high at 5.59 a.m. The sun rose at 5.47 this morning and will set again at 5.28 p.m. The moon set at 2 this afternoon and comes up at 1.33 tomorrow morning. The outlook for Thursday and Thursday night is for cloudy intervals with a few showers, periods of rain or isolated thunderstorms developing mainly over southern areas, the coast, and offshore. In the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, tropical cyclone formation is not expected over the next 48 hours. And that's your morning forecast that was prepared here at the National Meteorological Service. My neighbor. Yeah, yes, yes, we hear, we know Katrin's voice anywhere. Katrin, thank you so very much for yes. providing us with the weather for today and for the next 24-hour forecast. We know exactly what to look, out for, look forward to. And it's always uh, best for you to take a look at the weather at times. They're at uh, hydromet.gov.bz mm. and you'll check them out there. All right. It's that time of the morning, though. We move on to let you know exactly what we'll be discussing for the morning. And we've got some very interesting topics for today, mm. Wednesday. We'll be kicking things off uh, this morning with uh, representatives from, the, from Rotary. They'll be joining us to talk about the uh, Rotary Polio Awareness and Polio Plus Walk mm. promo. Okay. Mm -hmm. And kind of sticking <laughs> into that theme of hope, we will have the Hope Gala that is coming up. And of course, you'll have the representatives from the Belize Project Belize that will be joining us to tell us all about what we can expect. 
All right. And finally, there is a massive promotion going on across this country. We're talking about Belikin BYOB promotion. Bring your own What back. does BYOB mean? No, it's spill it. No, it's no spill it. I said no, bring, 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 beer, bring your own beer. That is what I've always <laughs> known BYOB to mean. But I'm assuming that it means something else. It is something else, <laughs> and you're going to love it. It, it, uh, it is with a lot of uh, giveaways. I am hearing rumors of you could win. You could actually win Belkin beer for one year. Hmm. Imagine your supply of Belkin beer for a year. The promotion is a massive one, please. And uh, we'll be telling you all about that. We'll have two representatives in to tell us about what BYOB is and uh, what the niceties of that are. What? All right. So it's going to be great. We're looking forward to it. We've got a packed morning for you. We're going to take the break. When we come back, we'll be chit chatting with representatives of Rotary. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Start your engines now for the National MSME Roadshow, geared towards building the resilience of MSMEs and developing a national MSME directory. Sign up for this three-day event filled with intensive boot camps, presentations, MSME support and formalization clinics, pop-up shops, and more to help you develop and promote your business. The National MSME Roadshow will be in Carzal starting August 24th. On Dwap, August 31st, Billy City, September 7th, Punta Gorda, September 14th, Key Cocker, September 22nd, Belmopan, September 28th, San Ignacio in San Helena on October 5th, Dan Griga, October 12th, Placencia, October 19th, and closes in San Pedro from October 26th. Learn more and sign up for the National MSME Roadshow by visiting the Bell Trade Facebook page or call or WhatsApp us at 613-5139. And let's get your business on the road. Everyone, including our elderly, needs to stay connected with their loved ones. With SMART's Golden Citizen Broadband Program, senior citizens can sign up for 10 megabytes of unlimited internet at a low monthly cost of $25. Citizens over 65 can sign up with a valid ID and receive free installation plus one month free on selected broadband plans. Visit a smart showroom near you for more information on how you can enjoy Smart's Golden Citizen Broadband Program. Smart, bringing people together. Let October be a spectacular month with scary good deals from Selly the World during our unbelievable savings promotion. Our treats will definitely make you forget about the tricks with entry-level phones starting at an unbelievably low price of $55. Tablets as low as $155. Monitors at $329. Smart watches for only $129. And speakers at an unbeatable $45 plus so much more. Shop with us to enjoy huge savings. Get a chance to win a treat from one of our three mystery boxes where you can be the lucky winner of a free Samsung flip phone, earbuds, headphones, speakers, phone stands, coffee mug, SD card, and other accessories with selected purchases. Don't delay. Visit any of our branches in Belize City, Belmopan, or San Pedro to take advantage of our unbelievable offers available at Selling the World. Low prices, more choices. Reúnes los requisitos para la amnistía 2022. Esta es tu oportunidad de aplicar. En el sitio web www.immigration.gov.bz encontrará una lista completa de todos los documentos necesarios para la amnistía según los criterios para los que eres elegible. Asegúrese de reunir todos los documentos generales y de respaldos necesarios y las traducciones necesarias. Haz tu cita en línea con cualquiera de nuestros centros de registro a nivel nacional. Ahí presentarás tus documentos y completarás las entrevistas requeridas. Después, se te entregará un recibo de aceptación. Mientras esperas una decisión sobre tu solicitud, puedes seguirlo en línea y saber cuándo será el pago en la oficina de tesorería del gobierno más cercano. Una vez completa, recibirás tu tarjeta de residencia permanente que muestra 
tu estado legal en Belice. Obtenga más información sobre la amnistía 2022 y cómo presentar tu solicitud en línea en www.immigration.gov.bz. Prepárate, el plazo de inscripción será del 2 de agosto al 30 de noviembre de 2022. Amnestía de Belice 2022. Continuemos construyendo a Belice juntos. Great Belize Productions Channel 5. Proud winner of nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best investigative report, best news item, best coverage of people with disabilities, best financial literacy journalism, best videographer, best television commercial spot, and the People's Choice Award with two special mentions for financial literacy journalism. Are you looking for low-cost television advertising? Have we got a deal for you? Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to recruit employees, promote specials, promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you to save valuable time and money. Call us today at 280-0013 or visit us at our offices on Coney Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5 Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. Dwayne Moody, Isani Cayetano, Marion Alley, Paul Lopez. Your News 5 Belize teams do whatever it takes. Go wherever they need to go so you can catch the story wherever you are, whenever you want, on whatever device. Channel 5 Belize on television, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Because news is now everywhere, all the time. And so are we. Tuned. Thanks, Jen. Hey there. We know you have to head out to work shortly, but don't forget that you can stay tuned by watching us on our Facebook live stream. Find us at Open Your Eyes BC and you can continue watching there. You can also download Facebook Watch on your streaming device and you can watch at your own convenience. And for all the behind the scenes fun, follow us on Instagram at OYE Belize. So find us and follow us today. We're back. We are back. Uh, welcome back to Open Your Eyes. And we're moving now into our first, first segment, segment for the morning. Yes. Now, this one is a conversation with representatives of Rotary and uh, to talk about Rotary Polio Awareness and uh, Polio Plus Walk Promotion. Mm. Now, we know that uh, there was a point in life or in time when we had, or the world, had nearly eradicated polio. But it seems to be rearing its head again. Mm. And the Rotary Club is actually on it like what white and rice sure. hot cakes sure like that, that. all right <laughs> in to talk to us about it we've got jessica sosa who is a representative of uh, rotary, rotary rotary belize yes i've got my brother ray Ho hohenkirk rotary club of belize sunrise and christy sosa my sister <laughs> who is uh, a rotary president. club of belize president yes guys good morning and welcome so many different, it's nice to have you guys different in. avenues of yeah. Rotary, but you're all <laughs> banding together for this yeah. particular promotion. Primarily, let's talk about let's talk about polio and, and, and how it affects people if, if there's a possibility to that. Or uh, polio and the fact that it was nearly eradicated, but it seems to be rearing its head again. Anybody? Take it. Ray. Well, morning and thank you for having us on the show. Um, I... Polio, the eradication percentage right now is about 99.9% .9 worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, there are currently at least two countries 
um, that are not completely eradicated, and that's because of their religious uh, uh, um, uh, beliefs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's Afghanistan and Pakistan. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I understand there have been a few cases in Venezuela, and I think just recently we also saw and heard there was a few cases in New York. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, whilst I can't say this for sure, I think that COVID may have contributed to some of the cases coming up because of the fact that maybe parents did not have their children vaccinated mm. for polio mm -hmm. um, because of the COVID. I guess mm. too many needles and whatever it is, I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Mm -hmm. But I think that could be a contributing factor. Um, but R Rotary continues to have vaccines issued worldwide mm -hmm. on an ongoing basis to children over five years old, <coughs> you're eligible. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and that uh, would have been my, my, my next question as to mm -hmm. why is this uh, uh, a grand project of Rotary? Why did Rotary feel this was to be the one that, you know what, we need to jump on board this and, and, and try to charter this one? Well, it started, I think Rotary took it on in 1985. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, the president of Rotary International was a Mexican, okay. and um, he's a doctor, actually, and he felt that there was a strong need for Rotary to be connected with the eradication process of polio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And therefore the campaign started worldwide. Um, they've gotten a lot of support from private and public sector entities worldwide. Mm -hmm. Bill and Mel Melinda Gates Foundation, for yes, example, yes, yes. match two to one yeah, any yeah. contribution that we have, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's, it's a very noble cause. Some people would say that polio is 99.9 uh, .9 is, is really, really good. I mean, actually, it's, it's great in terms of comparing it to other diseases that are, are still alive and, mm -hmm. and, and kicking. So what do you think that we have been doing differently, uh, apart from COVID, that has had polio re resurface again? Maybe one of you ladies want to take mm -hmm. a swing at that. Well, I mean, I would agree with Ray in that the, the <coughs> coronavirus and then we have the a lot of the population having this anti-vaccination. Anti yes. Uh -huh. yes. So, so, so that movement there that's happening, um, like Ray said, may cause them not to get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that in Belize, do we have this problem? I wouldn't say so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think in Belize that we have been very good at taking issuing and taking the vaccines. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were able to to rid of that problem back then, so we just hope that we can, you know, continue on that path. Mm -hmm. But to the best of my knowledge, sure. though, the mm -hmm. last known case of polio in Belize was 1981. Wow. Oh, wow. To the best of my knowledge. Wow. Independence, yeah. Independence, yeah, for yeah. 21 years now. So then why, why the, the rally? in terms of the promotion now what is the, i mean it's not just one rotary club it's all of you are banding together so what is the call for action why do you need well remember polio is caused through contaminated water mm -hmm. now you can have that anywhere yeah um yeah. and children will <coughs> want to you know get their hands dirty drink water whatever it is so the chances of a young child getting polio it's very easy depending on where they're living. Yeah. If, you're, if your living conditions are not at a certain level, then you could be prone to get yeah. it. Mm. And, um, and you're, you're, you're totally right, Ray. I mean, what we're seeing right now, especially with the effects of climate change and how waters are spreading yeah. after hurricanes and whatnot. We just had a flood. Yeah, we just had a flood. And, you know, uh, this, is actually, this is actually the watershed that, these, that, these, uh, that, that has been flooded is actually the livelihood of these people in mm -hmm. these areas. And they might not be readily available for, one, the vaccine, or may not be able or readily uh, uh, on board for medical attention. Mm -hmm. So all of these things are actually contributing factors. Mm -hmm. Now, with respect to getting that vaccination, is that the vaccination for adults? It happens when, you're, when you were born. At what point do, 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 do people uh, get this vaccination? To the best of my knowledge, any child over five is eligible for a vaccine. So mm -hmm. it's basically issued when you are a young child. When you're a child. And yeah. all of these vaccinations are readily available at public service here? Um, as far as I know, the yeah. Ministry of Health, there's something that is ongoing. Yeah. Um, they have a program. Um, they go to schools and, and you have a card. I think you get a card. So mm -hmm. there's a record that you would have, as well as the ministry would have, of kid, um, children who would be vaccinated. So yeah. they know, you know, what the percentage of the vaccinations that have been done 
locally. Then you the then you'd think uh, because you you mentioned two countries that are not on board with mm -hmm. uh, with getting the vaccine, and so therefore there is a there. Yeah, I don't want to say a spread, but polio mm -hmm. they still have polio there. This is what Afghanistan and Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. But then you would uh, then you hear about countries like Venezuela, which we know is mm -hmm. a developing nation as well. But mm -hmm. at the same time, there are slums there. Mm -hmm. But then you've got uh, the. USA, yeah. New York, yeah. which you would never think that such thing right. uh, would be exist, possible in yeah. that particular area. Right. But while we run the polio, and this is just for the awareness and for folks to understand how important it is for you or your child to get the vaccine, Rotary is actually stepping out on a limb to talk about this Rotary uh, polio walk mm -hmm. because it is mm -hmm. important for health. So this is actually Rotary Health. Anybody would want to jump on that? Well, on... Uh, on March 23rd, we're actually going to be meeting up at the Marion Jones at 5.30 a.m. We're going to be walking all the way to Memorial Park and back just to bring awareness that, hey, you know, polio is still here. We're this close to eradicating yeah, it. Yeah, 99.9% with it. Yes, maybe <laughs> a little bit more now that it's kind of spreading. But, yes. you know, we're very, very, very close. So we want to just welcome all the communities to please, you know, come out, join us. You know, we Rotarians and Rotaractors will be, you know, rocking our Empolia Now shirt, you know. And then we're this Sunday. Yes, it's this Sunday, 5.30 a.m. It's going to be a beautiful day. You know, it's not too hot. I know it's pretty early, but, you know, we no, don't want to get sunburned. <laughs> and if you wish to, you know, <laughs> to for you. donate, um, the Rotaract Club of Belize City will be collecting donations mm -hmm. to um, donate to the Polio Plus Fund. Mm -hmm. So for those do that don't know, any everything that we donate will be um, tripled by the Bill and Milan. Melina Gates um, yeah, Bill and Foundation. Melinda Gates and Foundation. Melinda. Yes. Yeah. So that's going to be tripled. <laughs> do I have to register to be a part of this or do I just show up? You can just show up. So while we've got three, we've got Rotaract, Rotary Sunrise and Rotary Belize here. Uh, it, it, so this is actually what? We're collaboration. We're collaborating yes. here yes. to make yes. this thing as big as possible. Yes. Let's talk about how we could be a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for the public, um, there are different ways. Like we said just before, you could just show up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if on Sunday morning you decide, hey, I think I, I want to participate, mm -hmm. just show up. Um, if you do know ahead of time, uh, like Christy said, uh, they are going to be collecting donations. Mm -hmm. But aside from that donation, um, when you donate, you get an end polio band, mm -hmm. a participation band. And with that band, you are entered into their raffle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they have two prizes there. So if you feel like participating beforehand, do purchase, or not purchase, but donate, make mm -hmm. a contribution, get your band, and uh, you'll be able to be entered into that raffle. Mm. And all mm. proceedings go to the... And polio. And polio. Mm. polio. Now, polio uh, plus, uh, yes. you, you did mention raffle. We like raffles. We like raffles. So what do we win if we uh, enter this? Yeah. Um, two, we have two different um, headsets. Uh, one of them is a Pioneer... I think a uh, big head. I'm, I'm not really all the it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is um, a jam. The brand is jam. Okay. And it's the, it's the one that goes around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you go. Okay. Also, oh, these headphones, yeah. two yeah. different headphones. Mm -hmm. I yeah. guess if you are somebody that is doing online work, it would be useful mm -hmm. for you. Or you exercise. Or you exercise. 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 One. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That one. And those are actually um, donated by GSCOM. So thanks to GSCOM for making that donation. Huh? Mm -hmm. But, there, but the world, story. worldwide, um, mo a lot of clubs will have an activity mm -hmm. um, which is more or less a fundraising activity okay. to generate um, funds for contribution to Polio Plus. Okay. And that activity usually is either a run or a walk, something health connected, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. I keep yeah. seeing this flyer that, that um, we post as Rotary this close with the, mm -hmm. the little finger like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that uh, something that you're asking folks to do, like a little promotion on, on social media? Yes, um, yes, yes. It's, it's like a... Um, a push that Rotary International started a few years back okay. yeah. to get celebrities and different ambassadors for mm -hmm. the cause 
Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's that, you know, um, I guess PR movement. We're this close to ending yeah. polio. So this close. take a picture, you mm -hmm. post it on your socials, and it's a mm -hmm. way to raise awareness. Correct. Yes, correct. correct. And raising awareness is one of the best ways for folks to understand how important it is mm -hmm. and how important uh, the, the fight that Rotary and, of course, the Bill and Melinda Gates are actually putting up yeah. so that polio can be eradicated. Like Ray mentioned, 99.9%. percent That mm -hmm. is a wonderful but one step. or two cases are actually popping up now mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. But at this particular point, this is a great opportunity for folks to actually become a, be a part of this, uh, mm -hmm. be a part of this work. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a donate. You to pledge something, Ari. Mm -hmm. This is actually a pledge. And this is any amount that you, that you like. Mm -hmm. You pledge that and you go out there and walk. For, yeah, for our younger generation, right, and that's why you have Rotaract, um, talk to us about the conversation surrounding polio. We like to think of it as this old disease, right, oh, that no. doesn't exist. No. So, yeah. What from a, a, from of, a youth perspective. Yes, mm -hmm. for, for what a lot of youths don't know because, especially since, you know, we haven't had it in very long, long in Belize time. and yeah. some youths don't know about it, is that, you know, polio is a, could be a life-threatening disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you know, you could end up with meningitis or paralysis, mm -hmm. worst case scenario, mm -hmm. you know. And that even if you're a child mm -hmm. and you survive polio, mm -hmm. that and you become athletic, you know, in the long run, studies have shown that in your late adulthood, that it will come back mm -hmm. and that you'll end up wheelchair bound. Yeah. So, yes, it's a miracle, but you know post polio syndrome is real yeah. Yeah. you know so that's why we want to promote everyone to get their vaccine you mm -hmm. don't want to take that risk mm -hmm. because I, like i said even if you do recover you're not fully recovered yeah there but christy a i from a youth perspective again there are a lot of people or a lot of youths who might be watching this and at this particular point you are an ambassador for your club you are you are one of those on the front line in terms of trying to uh, advocate mostly right. ad advocate for the eradication of polio. Mm -hmm. I might want to join your club because I like what you're fighting mm -hmm. for. I like the cause. <laughs> how can one be a part of uh, <laughs> how can one be a part of Rotaract to continue to channel this cause out there? Okay, well, specifically the Rotaract Club of Belize City accepts any you know young adult, young professional from mm -hmm. ages 18 to 35. Mm -hmm. Generally, Rotaract International doesn't have an age limit for Rotaractors except it's 18 and all. But our club does have a limit, mm -hmm. and if you're interested in joining Rotaract, <laughs> we do meet at Hell Page, which is on 38 Wilson Street okay. on Fridays at 7 p.m. Yes, it's on a Friday. I know a lot of youths want to party, but hey, you know, Rotaract, we don't only do community service, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. We do have our little social, have and have actually, <laughs> if you, anyone, you interested this friday we're actually having um a social that is called wine and cheese night okay okay so you know <laughs> she's getting she's getting her her promotion out there wine and cheese yeah. of yes, course and i also want to invite everyone you know that we are actually having a project october 31st mm -hmm. on halloween we're getting um certain students from um, St. Joseph Primary School and St. John's Vianney Primary School mm -hmm. and we're going to be taking them out tr trick-or-treating. So okay. we're going to have stations, you know, we have some businesses like um, Dot Box Donuts. We're going to be giving them free donuts, mm. you know. Um, we're going to have some treats for them. We're going to actually set up an, a booth, like a mm -hmm. decorative booth, so we can set them up and we can take some snapshots, pictures, you know, yeah. so they can remember and have a fun day because, you know, with COVID and they've been locked up, no trick-or-treating for a couple of years years mm. now you know we want to want to have some fun have we want to make a child smile yeah what i love about what you're saying is that we're we're on this fight for uh, to eradicate polio but while we're on there as well we're all, we also get the opportunity to have some fun so it is yes. a great club to join yes it is excellent christine and that is why they chose the walk that's why they chose the walk but i'd like to get to ray as well mm. and then we'll come to uh then we'll come to jessica uh, we're we're seeing the cause. We understand this club is from 18 to 35. 35. What about the Rotary Club of Belize Sunrise? I want to continue to channel this fight to eradicate polio. Hearing it, but I want to be a frontliner. How can I be a part of your group? You mean in terms of joining the club? In or? terms mm -hmm. of joining the club and channeling that cause with the club. Well, at the moment, Rotary is saying that uh, Rotaractors can also be Rotarians. Mm -hmm. So whilst there was a, you had to quit and then join Rotary, mm -hmm. 
now you could be a member of both organizations. Okay. And the main trust of that concept, I think, is because it was established that a lot of Rotaractors did not become uh, Rotarians. Mm. Um, so moving the goalpost, so to speak, then would allow a natural flow or a more natural flow yes. of Rotaractors to become uh, Rotarians. Mm. Um, we have seen um, that, at least in, in, in our beliefs to some extent, that has worked. Um, but obviously there are also Jews that have to be paid mm -hmm. and sometimes those financial costs may have an impact on an individual making the decision to transition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from a Rotaractor to a Rotarian. Mm -hmm. um, and also, too, <coughs> maybe you may have changes in your priorities in life, and therefore you suddenly don't have the time to give back to the community as you might have had when you were Rotaractor. When you were Rotaractor, um, okay. But our club meets on Tuesdays at 7.30 a.m. at the Biltmore. At the moment, we are doing um, hybrid meetings, so we do two on-site meetings, and then the other two are virtual. Mm -hmm. um, and that allows people to be able to participate in the meetings yeah. uh, virtually if they can do it physically. Yeah. Because you say 7.30 a.m.? Mm -hmm. That's why it's Sunrise Club. Yes. Okay, I just mm -hmm. get it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Jessica, how can we be a part of Rotary? Um, Rotary Belize, well, I guess starting off with our meeting day, um, we meet on Thursdays at the Biltmore at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a, a time ch a change. Mm -hmm. We used to meet on Wednesdays at at the Radisson. Radisson now it, yeah. At lunch time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That was our you know lunch, road to lunch, road to lunch. But now we're like I said, Thursdays 6 p.m. Biltmore. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So if uh, you know, and, and 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 the big thing about it is actually to be a part of the group, so you could continue to channel mm -hmm. these good news and these good fights, mm -hmm. uh, especially to try and eradicate polio. But, but we're winding down mm -hmm. with time. Yeah. Uh, so let's get once again uh, about this walk this coming weekend, and how can one be a part of it? So 5:30 a.m. sharp, Marion Jones. Uh, we leave there and go down Princess Margaret Drive. Mm -hmm. Touch Memorial Park somewhere <laughs> and, <laughs> and return. So it's, yeah. it's one straight route. It's one yeah. straight route. Right. Um, there's going to be a service vehicle mm -hmm. um, with light refreshments, like yeah. what example? Mm -hmm. yeah. And for anybody who might pull a hamstring or suddenly get a uh, so, I mean, it's not, it's not a competition, but some no. people might want to jog. But you and know run, what? Right? There are some people who may not be exercising regularly and yes. they suddenly put on their sneakers and everything else and oops my I twist my ankle, ankle. <laughs> I yeah. need to jump in and get some help um, yeah. you know uh, but it's going to be a fun activity yeah and uh, like I said the two clubs two rotary clubs and the, the rotary, rotary club, club are collaborating mm -hmm. the effort together yes um, so we have strength in numbers yeah well, You're I also wanted right. to mention that we do have um, uh, not necessarily it's not a registration it's like a sign up just so that we I guess get an idea of how, how many yes how mm -hmm. many people are coming out and at the end of the day we can you know I guess have a figure um, and say you know this is how many people came out to this initiative right. um, so we do have a Google form out um, I think that um, Christy you guys have it up mm -hmm. on your will or we'll be putting it up, it up on your socials on social media and bio. we mm -hmm. will as well mm -hmm. Um, otherwise, I think you can contact, um, you have a number where they could maybe share. Um, or you can contact me mm -hmm. at 613 <laughs> 613-4487. And find out how you could be a part of part. it. Do mm -hmm. I pledge a certain amount? Is it any amount that I'd like or is there a specific registration amount? Um, well, the Rotaract Club of Belize City decided on five dollars, okay. but of course you don't have to donate five dollars. The five dollars is to join the raffle. Join the raffle. Mm -hmm. You okay. can donate any amount. You know we appreciate generosity. <laughs> Just give a dollar. A dollar works. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything works, and this is uh, for a worthy cause to channel uh, the fight against yes. polio because we want to end it. Now. now. Speaking yes. of end it now, ending it now, <laughs> we've come to the end of your <laughs> thing. <laughs> Smooth, John. We're so grateful for Jessica Sosa, Ray Hohenkirk, and Christy Sosa mm -hmm. for joining us this morning. Guys, thank you so very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. And thank you for having us on. All right. We really appreciate it. This close.
Yeah, this, this close. Ninety-nine point nine percent. We're we we we're one and two people to try to <laughs> run with it, you yeah. know. But at the same time, we're trying to we're trying to contain that. But it was a great time. That conversation, you could be a part of it this coming Sunday, October twenty-third, starting from the memorial uh, from the Marion Jones, Jones Sporting Stadium. Complex at mm -hmm. five thirty a.m. sharp. We're gonna take the break, but when we come back, what do we got? Hope at the Hope Gala. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> We've got Hope, and the Hope Gala will be talking about that when we come back. Stay with us. Technology is ubiquitous, and it's transforming how, when, and where we work. Fulltex Systems is placing award-winning devices in the hands of information workers, allowing them to work without compromise in a world without wires, to innovate, create, and to maximize productivity anytime, anywhere. Satisfying the needs of the desk-centric remote and field worker, and every other worker in between, we are providing the industry's best devices to businesses going through the process of digital transformation. Partner with us today to provide the solutions that will allow your employees to work effectively and efficiently to enhance your customer's experience. Tech Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service. Excuse me, sir? Yeah. But how can you pay it your phone? B-Box. What? What is B-Box? B-Box has been his newest rewards program. Really? Where I could get it from? Man, check on the website bbox.bz or you could download it from the App Store. And if you still don't know, check that young lady there and she'll hook you up. I will show you do so. Good afternoon, miss. Can you hook me up with B-Box? It's almost lunchtime and Alice is getting hungry and forgot to bring cash. She remembers that eCash now has a geolocation feature in which she can easily view the eCash merchants near her, especially restaurants. Her co-workers also ask her to order food for them. Chicken chow mein, please, and a Coke. The merchant sends her the payment link, she taps confirm, and within a few minutes, her food is delivered. Alice then views her transaction history and taps on the transaction recently made, then taps the split the bill button where she selects the unevenly option and moves the bar to the desired amount per person. The request is then sent to her friends. Her colleagues accept the request and are ready to enjoy their meals. Geolocation and splitting the bill via eCash make Alice's life a whole lot easier. My parents always said, when it's time to build, Invest in quality products that last a lifetime, even if it means paying a little more. It is now my turn to invest in my own home, and it's not even a question. It has to be Oran Windows. My contractor recommends Oran because of the heavy-duty construction, the thickest gauge blades on the market, and the dual locks that allow lower louvers to close independently for privacy while the top remains open for airflow. These features make Oran Aluminum Louver Windows the best on the market. With Oran Aluminum Louver Windows, you get strength, durability, and beauty with an added layer of security and protection against debris and damaging winds. Come in and check out the variety of sizes and colors at Design Depot, located at Mile 3 Philip Goldson Highway in Belize City. Great Belize Productions Channel 5, proud winner of 
nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best Investigative Report, Best News Item, Best Coverage of People with Disabilities, Best Financial Literacy Journalism, Best Videographer, Best Television Commercial Spot, and the People's Choice Award with two special mentions for Financial Literacy Journalism. Are you looking for low-cost television advertising? Have we got a deal for you? Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to recruit employees, promote specials, promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you to save valuable time and money. Call us today at 280-0013 or visit us at our offices on Coney Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5 Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. Dwayne Moody, Isani Cayetano, Marion Alley, Paul Lopez. Your News 5 Belize teams do whatever it takes. Go wherever they need to go so you can catch the story wherever you are, whenever you want, on whatever device. Channel 5 Belize on television, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Because news is now everywhere, all the time. And so are we. Stay tuned. Thanks, Jen. Hey there. We know you have to head out to work shortly, but don't forget that you can stay tuned by watching us on our Facebook live stream. Find us at Open Your Eyes BC, and you can continue watching there. You can also download Facebook Watch on your streaming device, and you can watch at your own convenience. And for all the behind-the-scenes fun, follow us on Instagram at OYE Belize. So find us and follow us today. And we're back. We're back. We're Just back. like that, we're back and we're moving now into our second segment for the morning. I'll tell you what, yes. we wind up to drink Melikin <laughs> You know, for the third segment. I, I, and walk away with that. But nonetheless, <laughs> um, we've got Ruhel in. Ruhel Trejo is actually the Belikin brand coordinator. And there is a new promotion going on, April. Yes, yes, the BYOB, which yeah. I think it's bring your own booze, but apparently well. it's not that. Yeah. It could be that too. <laughs> it could be that too. <laughs> it fits directly in Ruhel. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. And it's nice to have you in, my brother. Thank you. Nice to be here so, again. So, so let's talk about this BYOB. When you say BYOB, and I say you, yeah. Yeah, what you do you mean by BYOB? By BYOB, I mean build your own bash. Yeah. So with Bellican. We started this under the crown promotion where there's some digit codes and the, when you go to our website, you enter these codes, you can win prizes from Bellikin. Mm -hmm. But all these prizes are various, so you and your friends can enter codes, get different prizes and you build your own bash. Build your own bash from a fun that. Yeah, fun that. So I can party at home. Yeah, you can party at home. Oh, <laughs> with Bellikin, I like obviously. that idea. <laughs> anyway, you want yeah. Yeah. Right? So, so that's the way it is. So, Primarily what you do is that, um, and it's an under the crown like you mentioned, yeah. or they refer to it as a UTC. So once yeah. you see that, then you know for a fact that it is under the crown. Mm -hmm. So first thing I do, go to the store. Yeah. And go to a neighbor's store. Neighbor's store. Neighbor. You go to a neighbor's <laughs> store. Actually, it's countrywide. Right. Okay. But you go to your store sure. <laughs> and uh, you purchase your, your beer. Mm -hmm. And then? Okay, so the three beers that you can get the, the code under the crown is the Bellican beer, Bellican stout, and also Belican light. Really? Yeah. So, so not only the Belican beer. Major, no, not only Belican beer. Um, so it's a Belican family, you know? Family. Mm. The beer, the stout, and the light. light. Mm -hmm. So you have various chances. So whichever one you like, you can go ahead with that product, mm -hmm. and then you're going to get a code <coughs> under the crown. Then you visit belican.bz. Mm -hmm. Right there, you enter the website, you register, you log in, and there's going to be an area where you put in the code. Mm -hmm. So what I really love about this promotion is that as you put in the code, it's an instant gratification that you're going to know if you won or you I'm lost. Not. So mm. if you won, you're going to get an SMS stating you won and an email saying exactly what you won 
and maybe it's going to give you a link of locations as well where you can go and collect these gifts. These prizes, yes. And how many chances do I have to enter and to win? Endless. Endless. Any. Endless. So anytime I pop open a belly king, and they have the crown and, have the and crown. they have the, 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 the code, mm -hmm. just put it. it in. You go in, you put it in, you put it in. Awesome. But, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, and I want to take this a little further because you did mention that I want to get one SMS or I want to mm. get one email. email. Mm -hmm. So that does that mean that I have to do a few things once I get to the portal? Yeah. So okay. when you register, it's going to ask you for your name. Mm -hmm. It's going to ask you for your district. It's going to ask you for a username, your email, and your phone number. Mm -hmm. So these things are important because it allows you to get the SMS and, and the email. Mm. So when you go to a neighbor's or a sales center to redeem your prize, you obviously take your ID and the crown mm -hmm. and you give the individual there and they will check to see if your name matches with the code and the prize. Ah. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so you did yeah. mention, so uh, we take the crown, so I have to hold on to the, to the, to the crown? Yes, you have to hold on to the winning crown. Mara, ah. so what if I throw it up by accident? Well, it well. Was <laughs> 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 I mean, remember, remember but I submitted it. <laughs> but it does I, say I submitted there is, there it. Yeah. So then <laughs> if I won, why do I need the thing for proof? It's, but it's proof. It's proof. <laughs> it is proof. So you, so I, you have to hold on to yeah, that. Yeah, you have to hold on to uh, that. Crofty says stop up. That kind of like uh, Willy Wonka with a golden ticket. <laughs> you Will you lose your golden ticket? Okay, no. fine. You <laughs> have to hold on to your golden ticket. No, exactly. I've been, seeing, I've been seeing another brand of Belikin out there. That doesn't have the code, right? Your October fest. No, that's a Belly. seasonal. That's okay. a seasonal beer. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that shortly. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of seasonal, because I noticed that Belikin have got a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. So we'll be chit-chatting uh, about that shortly. But I want to get back to this. So, mm -hmm. yes. in order for me to be eligible for this win, yeah. if I forget that crown or I throw away that crown, I am not, my eligibility gone. Gone, yes. That's part of it. Oh. So I have to try again? Yes. Mm. But you don't want to lose it? No. Because then I could just lose you, the You have time. to really hold on to your crowns. Okay. So, so, so yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, how long do I have to wait for, for me to be able to get my prize? I think, it, well, I don't think, I know mm -hmm. that it's instantly, once you said it, it's you're a winner, mm -hmm. my team and I will get an email stating you're the winner, that's your name, the prize and everything. Oh, because right. you got so your, everything, your, right. your information every, already in the portal. information is in the so portal. So it not expire? No. Okay. So um, all, every, all the neighbors, all the sales centers, they will mm -hmm. know exactly who is the winner and what prize. Ah. Yeah. Uh, do I know my prize when I win? Yes. Okay. So when you get an email, when you mm -hmm. get the email, it's going to have your prize, the mm -hmm. code, your district, yeah. everything. Right. It's going to give you your full works of information that you've put into the, into the profile. So you're going to open like from yeah. everything. Man, that kind of scary. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you use Facebook and That's Instagram. True. That That's is true. the worst. That's true. Social media you know everything. The minute we did talk about Bellican, I'm going to pop up my socials and Bellican. I know that. But what um, array of prizes do I have to look for? Okay, to? so yeah. the number one big prize that everybody is talking about is the beer for a year. Wait, wait. You did? Yeah, you mentioned. But, oh, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So I could have unlimited beer for, for a year? year? Well, it's 54 cases. So it's a case of beer per week. Yeah, per a case year. of beer per week. Yeah. All right, so around 52, 54. 54 so we're around yeah. there. Shucks, yeah. man. My, my trainer not like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, you, you could be, you, you could <laughs> give your friends in when they call on you, April. And, and yeah. you know, you know. You sharing know. is caring? Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, because it's a bash, April. You're building your own bash. So, <laughs> so you could actually win Belkin <laughs> beer, beer for, for one, one year. year. So that's the ultimate prize, prize that everybody's going for. Yeah. And then what else? I noticed my, my, my brother Lex just saw you. Know, <laughs> everybody from BME always <laughs> have their tongue on. Yeah, only, oh only you, you know, like where you're. Tug. Well, and no, then they I, never look like your picture on their tag. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you don't look like that. Oh, wow, yeah, I know. But still? <laughs> 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 you know, the I know a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I could. But, but mm -hmm. apart from the year of mm -hmm. beer, and I would know that immediately, right? As mm -hmm. soon as I put I would know that immediately. Mm -hmm. What else can I look forward to? You can look forward to the Belly King Cooler bag, mm -hmm. which is amazing. You can fit a whole case of the cans in there. Mm -hmm. So all 24 could fit could in there fit in with there. ice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, there's Pastor. also the Belkin, Belkin Blue yes. Tooth speaker. Yeah. Um, it's a, actually a JBL speaker branded <laughs> Belkin. So you know you're getting quality ah, it's so with Belkin. So JBL speaker at? Yeah, one JBL speaker. Oh my God. 
And, uh-huh, what else? Um, you get an opener, you get a t-shirt, one of them <laughs> that I'm wearing right now. This is very exclusive. Yeah. It's only for this promotion and when it's gone, then we take it to the Bellican store. Yeah. So go in, put in your codes and you can get an exclusive t-shirt before it hits the Bellican store and you got you get it before everybody else. Yeah. You could also win a case of beer. A six pack, um, a twenty five dollars gift card from Neighbors, yeah, and an opener. So I, I mean, do, can I put it to the test right now and see if I could? Yeah, pick you can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that that is situation. Alex <laughs> Ellis is in with us. Just sat down with us. Uh, he is actually the Belkin brand specialist. Alex, welcome, my brother. Morning, morning, morning. 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 How are you? We are doing Belkin Riffic. <laughs> when you notice, I don't only say I, I say we, we. are doing <laughs> belly king You, know you have you're to doing warn me riffing. when you make up the words. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, this, is the, this brand, uh, for, for me, uh, you know, it means everything, so it brings happiness to of me. Of course, and, I think you know, it brings you know, happiness you know, to you're, a lot of you're people. You're my side. Yeah. <laughs> so therefore, this, uh, make, make sure that we are belly king exactly. mm. So, bro, you know, you, you, you know, as much, you just got in, but I'm sure you're cognizant of the, 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 the promotion, you know exactly what's going on and stuff like that. What, what for you would be one of the biggest things to look out for for this promotion? Because Belkin have got mm-hmm. so many promotions and so many yeah. things going on. What's the big big thing? Well, uh, you know, Belkin is all about giving back yeah. to mm-hmm. our country. You know, and with this promotion, uh, you could build a one bash at home. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know? So we always give back through music. You know, we have the Belkin bash. Yeah. I don't do it at home. And all the elements you could make a bash. Um, are in this promotion. Yep. Mm-hmm. So from the Bluetooth speaker, uh, with the music, to the shirt, to the shirt, yeah. to the openers, <laughs> to open a beer, yeah. keeping your your ice cold beer cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have all elements, so. I heard something about a neighbor's. Uh, I heard something about a neighbor's gift card. Yeah. To make a, make a, to like so when we talk about this neighbor's gift card, or what that that what? Well. Now you could talk to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, the neighbor's gift card is a twenty-five dollar uh, gift card. Um, mm-hmm. You could basically buy anything inside neighbors, mm-hmm. but I mean, you could buy your ice right there to keep mm-hmm. a beer cool in yeah. the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> so we're literally giving you I all the elements to create a bash at home. Exactly. My <laughs> God! Exactly. So apart from apart from this beautiful bag, apart from the the de- the details that you need mm. to create your own bash. Is there anything else? I could still buy other stuff that um, I could still win other stuff that's in the Billiken store apart from these. Items. No, just these prizes. Okay. And when you go on the website, all information is there as well. Yeah. So mm-hmm. there's a section to show you the prizes, the locations, everything. I think so you win six bucks, though, right? Yeah, six yeah. bucks and a case as well. Yep. A case. But I think the cans are, are... So this can't hold the bottles, right? This only holds yes, the Yes, it can. can. I have tried it. Yeah. I yeah, took yeah, it yeah. to San Pedro and I took it to the test and I took it all over the island. So yes, it works. It takes a whole case <laughs> of Belgian <laughs> bottles as well. So this is not just any ice? bottle. This is a yes. wall. <laughs> and you have your, sh- your shop. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, yes. You yes, have a shop. Put on a shop. Look, we test it. Yeah, problem. Okay, right. first of all, I need to test if it actually holds 24 cans because I don't believe this. April I can't. <laughs> I am a skeptic. You okay. know what? Bring the m- m- yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, we're we're the gonna build a machine. <laughs> so let me get this. Oh and wow! We're building this bash. But while we're building this uh-huh. bash, Ruhel and yes. Alex, again, what do I have to do to be a part of this uh, this this promotion? One. Well, well, you could go to uh, any store, purchase a uh, Belkin, Belkin Light, or a Belkin Stout. Uh-huh. Uh, Look under the crown when you open a beer. Mm-hmm. Enter the seven-digit code online. First, register online. Enter the seven-digit code. Mm-hmm. It will send you an automatic message that says you have won or you uh, have not. Try again. Mm-hmm. And if you won, it will send you a confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> it will send you a confirmation email and a text. Uh-huh. And you just uh, take your ID with your winning <laughs> crown at any nearby store or any um, sales center. And you could redeem your prize. Any sales <laughs> center. So we're talking about because um, I know PG have a distribution center too. Oh, PG have neighbors. Put it yeah. all yeah. wrong. Yeah. I don't know how to pop. She don't want to see it. She no. She you could tell she don't work the B and B the beverages. You I didn't not pack a say cooler bag. And my viewers <laughs> will agree. You didn't say that there was a specific way to pack it. You yep. tell me <laughs> twenty four a fit. 24? I about to, I guess, and I didn't say how, but Look you have eggs. to know how to put it. All right. <laughs> you but you, but you know, coffee. we want to find a way. We want to find a way. We make it. <laughs> Seal the bag. Yeah. Seal the bag. bag. Seal the bag. Yes. 
No she might get charged uh-huh. to the counter. Listen. <laughs> oh no, no like give coffee good instruction <laughs> and that on a fault. All right, so is that 24 beers? Yes. In your bag? Yes. So now we're going to sling it and then you want to stand up. With the thing to slip. All right, I so here we go. I can't, I know that I didn't have shoes, John. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> No. Right. Oh, no, no. Yes, you could, you right there? It on the side. Oh, on the side. side. Yeah, we can make it smaller. Yeah, 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 there we go. So wait, 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 wait. We're part. We're part. Here. Uh huh. Right here. And here. Ah. Oh, that fancy, fancy. Fancy, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Here for mine. Look at that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you okay. Sing that? All right. No, you no, you believe. Yeah, just I'll leave it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, never tell me so how. So our plan was to give away two cases and the bag mm-hmm. separately, but now because of April, we have to make the question you're really welcome, hard, winner. really you're hard, welcome, and winner. you're gonna get the case of beer with the bag and the bag. Yes. I got you. I know what my viewers deserve. <laughs> All right. So a case of beer and the bag, and with a case of one beer. Wrong <laughs> but yeah, this case of beer, this case of beer and that bag, and of course uh, we'll tell you what the question is, but. Primarily, this is a great promotion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one, especially for this season, uh, you know, alone. I really and truly appreciate this because everybody understand and everybody enjoy what mm-hmm. Belikin what Belikin brings to the table. Mm-hmm. So Belikin beer, Belikin light, Belikin stout. stout. Yeah. 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 You check under the crown. Hold on, I get my instructions. <laughs> you check under the crown, <laughs> under yes. the crown or under the stopper. Mm. Yeah. You'll yeah. find the seven-digit code. <laughs> yeah. When I find that code again, Ruhel and, uh, and Alex, what do I have to do? You go to belikin.bz mm-hmm. and there's going to be a big banner right there and it's going to mm-hmm. say enter here. You click there, it's going to take you to the page right. and at that page you're going to register, put in your information and instantly you're going to be logged in. You put in the seven-digit code in the area that states enter seven digit code, yeah. you enter it there and it's automatically gonna tell you if you've won or you've lost. Mm-hmm. If you've won, you get your SMS and your email. How long does this promotion last? Until number of thirty or while supplies last. While supplies yeah. last. Yeah. So while this is going on, um, there there are also a lot of seasonals from Belikin. Let's let's mm-hmm. talk about some of those because it's important for people to understand what this brand, Belize's number mm-hmm. one brand, has to offer to the public. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Anybody? I know we have Oktoberfest beer yeah, Oktoberfest. on right now. Mm-hmm. Oktoberfest, we uh, recently had AF uh, the beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have Oktoberfest still going on. Yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. look out for that. Uh, you know, we have Sorrel Stout. Uh, Christmas coming is up. Oh, yeah. Christmas is coming. Um, <laughs> that my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I, I just really love the seasonal bears because yeah. it's just so the dynamic of our yeah. brewers yeah. and yeah. Belize Brewing. Yeah. And one of my favorites was actually the Belican AF. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a 7.6% alcohol yeah. content. Con- yeah. I, 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 tra- I just home. drank two at the tavern and I was like, it's time yeah. to go home. I feel no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that one is done though. Huh? That one is still. I, oh, I, I, I'm not no, sure. No, I don't think so. I don't right there at, the, at, the, at the brewery, right, and yeah. which which brings me to the home of Belikin mm-hmm. because there are so many things that can happen at the brewery. There are so many things that mm-hmm. we could actually uh, get at the brewery, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Belikin Belikin October Fest. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorites. I really and truly like. That's a smooth drink, man. I it really is. like that one. It is. Of course, one of the things we promote at Belikin is that you must be 18 Teenage years or older. older. Exactly. If you've got Belikin uh, bottles in your possession. You want to take them to a sales center, they're going for a shilling a piece or yep. 25 cents a piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you've got it in the in the case, then you're going for $11. So your empties in a case, that's uh, or in a crate, crate. Mm-hmm. that's <laughs> $11, you get that. And there are a lot of people who like to hoard Belikin bottles. Yep. You know, then some people want your carrot that states for them. But if you've got <laughs> the bottles, then just take them into the sales center. Mm-hmm. And of course, you make some money off that. Yeah. What black and tan there? I mean, you know, black and tan at a tavern. You could get it freshly made at the yeah, tavern. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, for this year, black and tan was put on hold because we wanted to bring October 1st. Mm. We wanted to bring something new to Belizeans. Mm-hmm. And we did a big activation at the brewery for mm-hmm. the first week of October. Mm-hmm. And it was a hit. We had games. We had this oh whole ambience yeah. of October 1st. So yeah. we literally <laughs> took the aspect of Germany October 1st. We brought it to Belize. Obviously, we believe in a fight. It. Yeah. We did certain things. This not a thing with words. She will on a life that a boy. <laughs> Look, we're marketers. We have to make up stuff to yeah. make a buy it. That's, that's right. That's right. You know. You know what? Speaking of words, when I oh, when yeah. I get my belikin, I pour that in a glass, and then yeah. I jump it. <laughs> 
done with the morning show. Um, <laughs> but uh, I know that you guys are trying to keep up with this Belize Heritage mm -hmm. Pride and so yep. on. And yes. um, one of the things that I appreciated from Bowen, and, and I can't remember which year it was, was when you collaborated with different artists mm -hmm. to create certain colors mm -hmm. and the pints and so on. Yeah. What else can we have to look forward to in the lines of that work? Well, right now we have our music campaign that's going on mm -hmm. and it's mainly with Junior Mar. Junior Mar is somebody that we've used to compose most of our music mm -hmm. for, for Bellikin and we really love the Belizean aspect that he brings to our commercial, so mm -hmm. brings to everything for us. Yeah. He, so he's a musical yeah. juggernaut. He's a genius. Yeah, he is. He's he a genius. is. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. when it when it comes to music, you hear somebody sing music, you're going to hear Juni Mar. Yeah. yeah. You're going to hear yeah. Juni Mar, yeah. and I think this promotion is actually a highlight of Juni Mar, of Juni Mar as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then he inspired it. You yeah. know, the initiation the of this UTC yeah. was from him, and it just grew <laughs> bigger from there. Yeah. And it just shows that Belizeans, once you look at your artists, please respect them and know that these are people that are inspirational. Mm -hmm. Hard work into these Hard things. Hard working yep. people. Yep. Yep. And then Lex, uh, also I think coming up is the Belikin Stout calendar as well. Yes. yes. How, how, tell yes. us about so, that. So uh, that's next month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, look out for it at the brewery. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to have the lunch at the brewery. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful Belizean woman. Um, so guys, you come out. We'll have more information soon about it, about the launch dates, yeah. uh, who's going to be there, <laughs> <laughs> performances, DJs, yeah. music, food. It's going to be it's going to be a great event. So mm. look out. I it. mean, the only thing that I feel missing from this BYOB, only to give me music. Of course, okay. you have a speaker, a JBL speaker that you're going to use. If I win, <laughs> if, if you win, win, exactly. If, uh, <laughs> and so they said this this promotion ends until supplies last or the end of. November. November. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you said I could apply and I could wait and I could, you could as, put much, in as, as much as I want. As you want. Yes. Um, and where do I pick up my prize? Okay. So you can pick it up at your nearest neighbors mm -hmm. or a sales center. Okay. okay. So you have various places to pick it up. Let's say you won in Corozal, but you live in Orange Rock and you need to leave. You can mm -hmm. still go to Orange Rock. Let them verify the code under your crown, and you can still pick up your, your uh, prize there. I can't stress more uh, on this um, for the fact that you must have this crown when you go. You must yeah, have yeah. this crown and your ID. Yeah, your ID. So, guys, please, on a, put on a government name, <laughs> put on a profile because it's going to be matched with your ID. With your ID. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the person you don't want to put your name because your name is all over Facebook. No. And then different social media. No, but the thing is, is that I understand what he means because people like put their nickname. Please don't put bad girl Sutherland. Or, you know, <laughs> because that's not a power on our social security. <laughs> no. What's on your social security? And the thing about this, though, it's not broadcasted out there. It's actually in a portal. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is only within the BNB family, whereby yeah. only these people people at these places where you're going to collect your mm -hmm. prize will, will know. know. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it right there. Mm -hmm. So it's that discreet. Yeah. All right? It is. Yeah. It is. Give away Give time. time. <laughs> what that a question? Hmm. That camera right there. And of course, if you are watching on our Open Your Eyes BZ Facebook live stream, that is where you enter your answer to the question that Ruhel That asked. Ruhel will ask or uh, Alex The first ask person right to, uh, to comment the right answer will mm -hmm. win something. But no, which is something? This thing, no, this is a cooler bag. <laughs> and cooler, that, 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 I cool, know. That, that cooler oh. bag is worth more than those two cases. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah that, yeah, seriously, seriously. Well, then you're welcome, viewers, because you got a wonderful bag out of it. And you can put your ice, you put your, your you and know, if it's twenty four beers, even if they don't tell you what the instructions to put the beer. Who have to tell you how to you pack your bag? So, I know, right? Sometimes <laughs> you're in a rush. April, okay? please don't tell me that people will just put the closing yeah, of your valise and just close it up. Just give your question, please. <laughs> uh, you want to start with an easy one? Um, no, sure. One question, because yeah. they want one question. Case. Okay, with that let's, case, be let's go with the easy one or just the case. Just the and case, and a harder one for the case with the Ruhel. I, so yeah, I was trying to make it um, delicious, terrific for you, but <laughs> Ruhel, they, they, they give it to us. So Maybe give it away. Continue. So, for us, the case, uh -huh. we're gonna make the harder one for the grand prize. But okay. uh, just for the case of a uh, beer, name three beers that you could find the uh, under Belikin. Yeah, so. under Belikin, obviously. All right. Um, the winning digit, seven digit code under the crown. Okay. All right. So three beers that you could find the seven digit uh, under the crown or a part of this UTC. As long as you could tell us that those three beers, then you will be the winner 
of the case, case. of Belikin yeah. bears that we've got right down there. All right. And this and the second question. Okay, so we have eight prizes. So I'll make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. If you can tell me five prizes out of those five, eight, five out of eight, eight, then you get the cooler bag with the bear. I'll make it a little oh, bit easier. Yeah. I could have said see all eight, but let's go with just five out I of eight. Answer. All right. Oh, you have so the answer. No, 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 no. <laughs> we need we need to let our folks in the background know yeah. what to look out for okay. on our um on our prize. So remember, go <laughs> onto our live stream, open your eyes, B Z, to answer the first question, which is what are the three bears that Belikin is offering with the coat? Mm -hmm. The coat right? yeah, under the crown. Under yeah. the crown. And the second one is what are five prizes out of the eight that mm -hmm. you can win once you press in that code into the <coughs> website. So that mm -hmm. one kind of hard because that one I never know. I mean, know the answer to the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the worry about that beer for a year. <laughs> I'll do the worry about that is bug. Yeah. <laughs> but again, let's run because uh, we want for folks to understand mm -hmm. how they could win, the, uh, win these prizes. So you go to the store, you purchase your Belkin beer. Um, or stout, the, or, or, or light, yeah. and then what you do? Yeah, that, that's all right, man. This this is what we do. We make it easy for you. <laughs> so what you do is that you open the beer, you uh -huh. open the, the beer, and then there is a seven-digit code there. Yeah. Where do I put this code? So then you go to bellekin.bz. Yeah. Right there, there's gonna be a button that says enter here with BYOB. You click. It goes. It's gonna take you to the page where you can register. When you've registered with your information. It's going to automatically let you log in. And when you log in, it's going to take you to where you put in the seven digit codes. You place it in, you press send. It's going to tell you automatically if you've won or lost. And if you've won, you get an SMS and an email stating what you've won. And of course, these stoppers can be found or these crowns can mm -hmm. be found all over the country, from PG yes. all the way to yes. Yes. Yeah, and countrywide. So countrywide. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there, a, like I asked before, so once I say that I'm the winner. Mm -hmm. um, is there a time frame that I have to go and get my prize? Or well, I could just... until November 30th. Until November 30th. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. while supplies last. Or yeah. while supplies last. Yeah. So this okay. is the promo The promotion is up until November 30th. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or while supplies last. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And you could find these at uh, stores across the, uh, across the country. country. Yes. 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 All right. So what if I, for, like, I forget, right? So what mm -hmm. if I forget for care my crown and I reach the November 30th and you're like, supplies done. Well, so then, no, they, 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 why you know. wait last minute? <laughs> 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 Come on, you want a cooler bag. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's see if we have any winners as yet. Let's see if we have any winners as yet. So, we're trying to provide uh, the producer we're going to come across directly. <laughs> yes. What else? All right, so let me see what else uh, we have. We already have the winner for the first, for the first um, the prize. The first one is. Yes. And the winner is? Manuela Cook. Manuela Cook, Manuela. you are walking away with a case of Belikin beer. Yes, you're walking away with an entire case of Belikin beer. Mm -hmm. You picked that up right here at Channel 5, right? Uh, yeah, because yeah, we're going to leave it here. And then, so of you course, Kurt, you still have a winner left for the second question, which what are the five prizes out oh, of the eight, eight prizes that yes. you can win once you enter the hole? And what do you win? Then I win the bag and the beer. I, I mean, I did it for you. Fucked by who? Fucked <laughs> <laughs> my earphones. Listen, they don't want good fucker, man. Relax. Uh. The instructions were not provided. <laughs> <laughs> but there are so many. And of course, uh, Manuela just got, um, she's the winner for the first uh, prize. Right. And in this this promotion is with Belkin beer, Belkin stout, Belkin light. light. Yes. All right. Yes. But nonetheless, there are also uh, seasonals that's actually coming up. And I noticed. Um, mm. Like I say, somebody, yeah, we, we got, we got the, we got, the <laughs> 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 all right, but yeah, so their seasonals, Oktoberfest beer is actually on stream mm -hmm. as we speak, and that's across the country. Yes. It's a smooth drink, drink. Mm -hmm. but once again, Belkin, and here, Belkin would like for folks to understand that you must be 18 years or older to that's right. purchase okay. Belkin okay. products. We have the winner for the second prize. Oi. And the, the winner, winner for the second prize is Diane Bowden. So, Diane, you won the cooler with the Belican beer, 24 cans of Belican Oh, my beer. goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot you of want a man here, too. I know. You know, I like that, that beer that our man drink, ladies. Thank you for playing. Mm. <laughs> There's no such thing. There's no such thing. It's whatever so, your taste bud likes. Of course, exactly. for our winners, please bring your IDs at Channel 5 to pick up your prizes. So, Manuela Cook, um, Diane Bowden, 
Don't forget to come and pick up your prizes before five today. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yes. that's the way it is. Yep. yep. But again, that Oktoberfest, man, you'll even taste that. Uh, yep. it's, smooth, good. Smooth, smooth. it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, you buy one at St. John. I want to wait. <laughs> Every time Sorry. there's a new there's a new product out, I message him and I say, so <laughs> what should I expect? <laughs> um, but so far I'm still I am a I am a veteran. I prefer the seasonal. I like my chocolate stout. I like my cereal mm, stout. Yeah. Those are the ones. I have tried a sour stop thing that y'all were going for oh, one time. That's a two, yeah, that's a two that's five. A two five. Yeah. Five yeah. Um, let's call Annie right now. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, we, we would like for folks to understand from a, a bowing perspective that as long as you've got the bottles, any B&B bottles with you, you take those things to the sales center and you're remunerated for those. Actually, once you buy a case of beer, you don't mm -hmm. you don't pay for the for the, yeah. for the for the bottles already. Yeah. Yeah. And so what you could do is that you actually put those bottles back into the crate. You take that to the sales center and you get some money on that. All right. So Climate that's the change way it is, is real. Help us to save the world. Of course, <laughs> that's what we do. But guys, thank you so very much. It was a wonderful time. Yes. Ruhel, yes. Alex, my brothers, <laughs> the other brothers. It was a great time. Thank you for joining us thank this morning. You. Thank, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate thank it. You. All right. And so we're gonna take that break, and uh, when we come back, hope with hope. Guys. A lot of hope. A lot of hope. <laughs> it's another gala. We're gonna tell you all about that when we come back. Thank you. Thank you. friends, this is Dr. Bob Roberts with another 60-second sermon from God's Word. The Bible says, give everyone what you owe him. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt of love for one another. Several years ago, the president of a bank who was a faithful member of the church that I served as pastor looked across his desk and asked, Bob, do you know who the three poorest credit risks are? I quickly answered, no, sir. He replied, preachers, policemen, and politicians. To me, that was such an indictment against community leaders who should be setting the standard for others. That day I resolved in my heart that by the grace of God, I would do my part in changing those statistics. I can honestly tell you that my wife and I have reared four children and not once while they were growing up did they ever have one person to knock on our door or to call by telephone seeking to collect for an overdue debt that was carelessly neglected. The Bible has much to say about paying our honest debts. The Bible teaches us to pay every debt we owe, whether to God, the government, or the general store. There is only one debt that is allowed to remain outstanding. It is the debt of love that we are forever indebted to each other. If we love God, our country, and our Christian witness, we will pay our debts. The Bible says the wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously, as preachers, policemen, and politicians should exemplify. Today's 60-second sermon has been presented by Christian Foundations of Faith in cooperation with the Baptist churches in your area. including our elderly, needs to stay connected with their loved ones. With SMART's Golden Citizen Broadband Program, senior citizens can sign up for 10 megabytes of unlimited internet at a low monthly cost of $25. Citizens over 65 can sign up with a valid ID and receive free installation plus one month free on selected broadband plans. Visit a Smart Showroom near you for more information on how you can enjoy Smart's Golden Citizen Broadband Program. Smart, bringing people together. Hello, eCash user. The eCash app is now available in Spanish. Changing the language in your eCash app from English to Spanish is quick and easy. Let me walk you through the steps. First, open your eCash app. Enter your PIN. Tap the More icon at the bottom of your screen. Choose Security. Select Language. Tap on Spanish. Then re-enter your PIN. And that's it! Your eCash app is now in Spanish. 
and you can continue to enjoy your eCash digital wallet. Belize Bank's eCash app makes life easier. Great Belize Productions Channel 5, proud winner of nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best Investigative Report, Best News Item, Best Coverage of People with Disabilities, Best Financial Literacy Journalism, Best Videographer, Best Television Commercial Spot, and the People's Choice Award, with two special mentions for Financial Literacy Journalism. Welcome back. back, welcome back. We're moving now into our third segment for the morning. Now this one is all about Hope Gala, Gala. as they are, uh, you know, they're about to make things happen. And you know, I, I, I really and truly appreciate the Hope organization. Now in to talk to us about it, we've got Mar Mario Cast uh, Castellanos, yeah. who is the chairman of the Belize Project, and also Marlon Baptist, senior facilitator of Restore Ministries. Mm -hmm. A very yeah. pleasant morning, guys, Good and welcome. Morning. Thank you. So let's, let's jump on into this, uh, you know, Hope. Uh, the Hope Organization. Let's talk about that, with the work that you guys do, and then we move on into the Belize Project, and tell us more about that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, speaking about this small word, Hope, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a small word, but with a huge meaning. It means a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. Yeah, it means a lot of stuff, because if we look to a general situation right now, all over the world, we can see the this condition on how yeah. we are living today. And a lot of people tend to lose hope. Will things get better tomorrow? Or yeah. will, will I have a better future? Yeah. And if we look at our <coughs> small country, Belize, mm. we can clearly see uh, everything that's going on. And, and it on honestly, it creates a feeling of sadness because, I mean, yeah. I cannot know if my child would be safe tomorrow. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Knowing that if you have that small <coughs> hope, that small light, mm. that there can be a difference mm -hmm. tomorrow. I mean, I can make a difference if I'm willing to, as we have been sharing in our recovery, you know. It's yeah. up to us. I really like the, the theme. It says, bringing awareness to healing communities in Belize and how to support their efforts. Yeah. So this is not just a gala. This is a fundraiser. Yes. Right. And... Um, one of the, what would the proceedings be going towards? Okay, the proceeds will be going towards um, to branch up with different ministries that mm -hmm. fall under the banner of the Belize Project, which is a non-governmental organization. Mm -hmm. um, under the Belize Project, we have the Restore Ministry, we have Dorcas House, that mm -hmm. is um, house women of physical abuse, yes. and verbal abuse, yeah. and we have the Jacob Rehabilitation Farm Center, yeah. mm -hmm. and we also have the micro business. And now, so we are, um, that's where the funds will be branched after the, to different, these different ministries yeah. mm -hmm. in order to further what we do. You know, um, especially the coming to the Restore Ministry, I am the senior facilitator who goes into the different high schools yeah. and to share the message of hope and healing with the, with the teenagers, yeah. you know, before they reach into that stage of going mm -hmm. into this craziness of the, what is happening in yeah. our society, you know, so. I go and present them with a message of hope and healing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I cannot fix them. Right. You know, I cannot change them. Mm -hmm. I can only present a message yeah. of hope and healing and how we can curb our behavior and, and mental, the way we see things. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so that's how we proceed with the. But the way we proceed. Marlon, you know, I, I, I'm so glad that you went there uh, because a lot of people might not understand how hope is actually spread. Mm -hmm. And you're a blessing for the fact that you actually go into these communities or schools mm -hmm. and try to present that message of hope. What do you think uh, have our young men or young people, not only young men now, mm -hmm. let's, let's try to move away from that because yes. that's normally the blame being that they are on the front line. Yeah. But at the same time, there are uh, females who are actually in that particular area as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what, 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 are we, what are you noticing when you, when you witness these areas or you try to talk to these young people? What are they telling you? Why do they not see hope 
Mm. Why do they not feel hope? Well, um, most of the responses that I get from these youngsters, um, we don't only do youngsters, we do adults as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but most of the responses that I get is that they hurt. Mm. They are um, probably one of the parents is not around. Mm -hmm. So th there's a single parent, either the mom or the dad. Probably the dad is in prison or the dad is passed away. Mm -hmm. And the struggles, mm -hmm. they, come from a dis they come from a dysfunctional family. Mm. And some of the hurts they shared and some of the hurts they shared on a one-on-one, -on -one, especially the females. Mm. Um, what they disclose, we cannot share that. Yes. You know, because this is their personal story. Yeah, yeah, of course. And um, I have seen, I have seen changes in some of them, some of the young boys that I have been to at hostel. He's in fourth farm, mm -hmm. about to graduate. So I've seen the success mm -hmm. of some of these youths that mm -hmm. I pres that we presented the message of hope to. I mean, that they still have a chance at life, mm -hmm. regardless of where we've been. You've been to prison, hostel, wherever, you know, we have this um, other phase of our life that we need to reach. Mm -hmm. And don't feel hopeless mm -hmm. because if God can take something, I mean nothing, and make something out of it, mm -hmm. you know, he, there's everything that is possible for God. Definitely. Yeah. You know. And if we are in his likeness, then we can take nothing yes. and make, and make something, something out of it as yes. well. That's I wanted to is. highlight the Belize Project itself because you said it's, a, it's an NGO that hosts all of these other um, ministries. ministries. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of what you do, at, I want to say it was the Jacob's, Jacob's Farm because yeah. you, you were here last night for Jacob's Farm. Um, how are you seeing the progress in that ministry with the persons that are in that group? Well, honestly, I can uh, probably say that this year, especially this year, we have had a lot of success in this demand that I have reached Jacob's Farm. We have graduated over four to five residents that mm -hmm. have completed their six months program at our facility. And um, it's really inspiring because honestly it helps me with my personal recovery mm -hmm. um, I'm like I mentioned uh, last time that I was here I'm still in that recovering process because mm -hmm. this is going to be a lifetime process so seeing men that are changing their lives it just gives me a purpose Mario you are you have a purpose in life yeah. and honestly yeah. I felt hopeless uh, about eight years ago I reached to a point where I was contemplating suicide because mm -hmm. I felt hopeless honestly mm -hmm. I felt that my life was worthless I didn't have any opportunity to get back in life but mm -hmm. now that I'm seeing myself where I'm standing at and seeing these men coming out from their addictive lifestyle and seeing them reintegrate into society it just lifts up my spirit again yeah. and keeps me uh, moving forward and so this hope gala is going to be the the, the, the big fundraiser for mm -hmm. all of these um, ministries. Uh, how can I get a ticket? What can I expect? What, what is going to be, um, what are going to be some of the activities at this gala? Well, it's going to be a memorable night. <laughs> it's going to be a very, very interesting <laughs> night because not only by buying your ticket, but you are also contributing in supporting mm -hmm. our ministry to reach out to our Belizean people, there will be a lot of entertainment. Brad Patico is going to be there. Yeah. Leroy, Shit. the Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Yeah, so there will be <laughs> entertainment. There will be a buffet. Yeah. That, yeah. Th that $60 cover that buffet. Um, there will be testimonies from our successful stories. Mm -hmm. There will be prizes such as the flight to Nashville, Tennessee. That's going to be a round trip. Wow. Yeah, we have a Two nights stay at the Billboard Plaza. Mm -hmm. okay. Tony's Inn in Corozal. Two nights also on a mm, furniture like set. I like Tony's. Yeah. So wait, wait, the <laughs> last prize of a furniture set? Yes. yes. I need to go to this girl. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. So, you know, see, and this is, once you pay that 60 for that ticket, you get a chance to win yeah, exactly. any of these. Oh, yeah. of these and there prizes. will be other small prizes also. So you the automatically end. enter. Exactly. Nice. But let me let me let me get back to hope. And I I, I really and I like Brad Patico too. Yeah, holy I know. Light, I know. Holy light, <laughs> holy light. My guy is the boo man. Holy light. Yeah, man. Yeah. I know Brad Patico. But let's get back to hope. 
Is this an organization for men? Men and women. Mm -hmm. Men and women. Who is um, men who is using drugs and alcohol? Yeah. And mm -hmm. women who has been physical abuse, verbal yeah. abuse yeah. by their spouse. Yeah. Um, human trafficking. Human trafficking. Wow. So yeah. it's it's covered a range, wide range, a wide of, range um, of, yeah. mm -hmm. of stuff that we do. Um, our intention is to help people, yeah. just like how we got help. Yeah. We are two success stories. Mm -hmm. wow. So we can only give, give back what we have received. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. and so and that's that's the desire that God gave us to reach out to the to the people who are still suffering in their alcoholism and drug addiction you know um, and to let them know that if you take that step all you need is take that step the willingness the desire to change the help is there yeah mm -hmm. yeah but you have to want it yeah. if you don't want it then you will remain in your addiction but how do i how do i you know from being in such position how do i know or how do I know that this is what I want? I mean, I'm already stuck in my ways, mm -hmm. or so I feel. I, 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 I'm so used to doing what I do. So how do I, how do I make that transition? Okay, I can use my experience from sure. that. Sure, let's, let's hear about your experience. I was, I was um, a person who was abusing drugs and alcohol, and I so happened to meet the former chief magistrate of the, sub, uh, the magistrate, magistrate court, court, which was Miss Anne Marie Smith. I went in front of her with the intention to plead guilty for the offense that I was caught, which was handling stolen goods. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know they had a plan to get guys who is suffering from a drug addiction to get them rehabilitated. Mm. So I pleaded guilty with the intention to receive a fine so they can, well, it was a mental trick, mm -hmm. you know, because I wasn't going to pay that fine. I was wanted to come out to go right back to my active using. Mm. And when she read to me that I have a long history of dishonesty, and she asked me the question, why are you keep on doing this? So I, I was a bit hesitant with her. So I was wondering if I should say this or not. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I have a drug problem, and I want help. And she, her response to me said, now you're talking. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to a rehab? Yes. I reached that point. I reached that point that I got enough of what mm -hmm. I was doing. And you have to reach that point. Mm -hmm. Said, I get enough. This is not making the sense because your, turn, your, your um, family turns against you when you do these things. Mm -hmm. It's not that they don't love you, but they want what's best for you. Mm -hmm. But you have to want. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? So I reached that point that I reached rock bottom. I said, Marlon, this is it. Yeah. I'm getting too old for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? I want to gain back my self-esteem. I want to gain back my self-respect. I want to be respected back in society because I want to humiliate myself and degrade myself by doing this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so that is when a person has to come to that realization that I need that help. Mm. So where did yeah. you go for that help? Where, what, what, how I went help to Pachacan, Jacob Rehabilitation Farm. Um, mm. Maro is, is, it, is a part of that now. Mm -hmm. And um, I go back. I go back and share my testimony with these guys yeah. that when you come out, it's not a miracle that you will stay sober mm -hmm. if you don't quite want put to use the tools mm -hmm. that has been given to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because you have given the tools, you know, you must always remember this. If I do this, I will mm -hmm. end up back right in yeah. this rehabilitation yeah. Yeah. all over. I don't want to end up in a rehabilitation second time. One time and I move forward. Mm -hmm. so, so let me ask you this. Uh, you know, I'm hearing you. I, I'm, I'm hearing you. Uh, and I, but, and I know that I've ridiculed my family already. I think that they've exhausted their their uh, their time wanting to try and fix me. Mm -hmm. And as much as I want to go to one of these areas to find hope, I might not. I'm not sure my family will want me back. How how did that transition happen for you? Well, the thing is, I didn't do for do it for my family. Mm. I do it for me. Mm -hmm. And for do it for me and to keep what I'm doing. I earn back their trust. Mm -hmm. I earn back their love. Mm -hmm. I earn back their respect. Mm -hmm. And the compliments will be there. I'm happy for you, my brother. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. say so receive compliments. And the thing is, since I got married, after all that, and my wife know about me, so nobody can tell my wife anything about my past life because I already discussed it with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have support. I have my friend here. I have my other friend that is coming in from the States today, 
I have people that doesn't really know me who support me in my well-being. Mm. Yeah. Always giving me encouragement, mm. and that's what keeps me motivated, especially being with these youths in the high schools and doing the Journey to Freedom groups mm -hmm. keep me stronger. So you are telling me that even if in my mind, after I've exhausted my family trust mm -hmm. and love, that eventually it will come back. Eventually. So it makes all the sense for me to go and find that hope yep. Yep. and try to get help. Exactly. But it's up to you mm. to keep moving mm -hmm. in the right direction. So coming back to your, to your gala and just reeling it in, we will have testimonies like this yes. at yeah. the gala. I will be a part of it. Along with perhaps um, activities and so forth to do with your guests, mm -hmm. like the prize and so on. Yes. Um, what else can we expect? And um, when can I purchase my tickets? How can I purchase can my get tickets? The tickets? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> well, um, in Belize City, mm -hmm. my wife have the tickets. You can she can be contacted at six one four three eight four two. And if you cannot get her because she's a teacher, you can contact me at six one four four nine three two. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, you can purchase a ticket. I I live in Sand Hill, but I can deliver. Always ticket. come out and make sure. But okay. what about on social media? Can yeah. I find hope and, and and say, you know what? Hey, I would like a ticket. I might not remember the numbers right now, but you know, everybody live on social media right yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah. can I go on social media to find yes. out where we, we, can we get have the oh, we have our um, Facebook page at the Hope Gala by the Belize Project. Mm -hmm. So we, you can go I log in into our fa Facebook page and you can get the information there. But we also have the office number mm -hmm. in Corozal, which is 610-5898. Mm -hmm. You can contact that number and purchase. Can I ticket. purchase the ticket at the door yes, when I come? Yes, you can purchase yeah. okay. so mm -hmm. have, um, Well, if you feel touched and, and um, you feel you want to be part of it, but let's say you are from Toledo mm -hmm. so and you cannot come. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want to make a donation to, to the Belize project, we have a an account number mm -hmm. where you can just go in and just make a uh, deposit. Yes. Yeah. So you can um, make a don donation via Atlantic Bank to the Belize Project account, which is account number 100279146. Mm -hmm. That's if you cannot, if you just want to, to make a, support, make a donation. To support, yeah. Support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people must understand that these, when, when once you make these pledges, uh, these monies actually trickle down to help people yeah. yes exactly what we spoke help. about yeah. this morning in yeah. terms of how you help people we spoke about hope as yes. well so this is actually giving hope mm -hmm. yeah all right so uh, the, num the number again mm -hmm. one more time for donation the number the account number is one zero zero two seven nine one four six that's the Belize Atlantic Bank account for okay the project. for the Belize project and on get get your get your tickets get your yeah. tickets um, you could contact the main office at six ten fifty eight ninety eight or they have their Facebook page, the Hope Gala by the Belize Project, where you can go in and see how you can purchase your tickets from there. I, I, I know time is winding down, but, mm -hmm. I, but I've got to ask this. Um, if I, you know, one of my family members is in that position, and I know that I want to, 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 to help that person, how, how do I contact Hope? Or, or, or is there a spot I can go? Or uh, is it like uh, we're totally out of space to put people? Or is it a dormitory that we stay at? What happens when we visit Hope? Mm. When we visit these facilities, uh, we have uh, buildings for these uh, persons that reach out to us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where we keep them there and um, you know start to work with them as their recovery starts. Mm -hmm. We have uh, security on grounds. Mm -hmm. We have the personnel, the staff that is working um, seven days a week. Yeah, three sixty-five a year. Wow! <laughs> so we are really, really into seeing the progress and recovery from everybody that comes into into our facilities. Like I mentioned to our, our past graduate, once you step in our facilities, you have already become a part of our family. We are here to love. We are here to support, just as they did to me. Yeah. Can you yeah. list the, the ministries under your, your project one more time? You have Dorcas House, you have yeah. Jacob's Farm. Um, what are the other ones? <laughs> Jacob's Rehabilitation Farm Center, especially for men. Mm -hmm. we, it's only for men. We mm -hmm. don't have a facility for women right now. Mm -hmm. We have Dorcas House, which assists um, women in do domestic violence and human trafficking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have Journey to Freedom, which um, its purpose is to bring awareness of hope um, in Colby Foundation and in the 
high school right now, reintegration into society and the economic development, which is the micro business yeah. wow. to help this. Do we so see a lot of people uh, reaching out on a daily basis? What, what, what is that like? Pe are people reaching out? Well, Marlon can share a lot of um, Restore Ministries. He, mm -hmm. he's, um, his list is it's full. It's expensive. Right, <laughs> right, now, um, right now, I don't have enough resources to deal with all the people that I that, um, that is welcoming mm -hmm. our wow. programs into the high schools. Um, right now we have, presently, I have Tobal, yeah. mm -hmm. Tobal Technical Vocational. We have 110 students. That, um, 60 of them will be graduating next week. Wow. Mm. Um, I have Mad Williams High School that I supposed to start on Thursday right here coming. Mm -hmm. I have the Seda Vernon High School. I have mm -hmm. Excelsa High School. Mm. That is just a few of them that welcome the program because we mm -hmm. personally go in and we talk to the principals of yeah. how this program can help them because yeah. we have different topics on hope, starting a journey, what is powerlessness, mm -hmm. what is grief. Mm -hmm. and, and grief is one of the things that we should be presented because yeah. a lot of people dying, some to gun violence, some to COVID. Mm -hmm. you know. So um, we present these messages with them and how they can cope with it and deal with it, especially grief, how to process the loss of a loved one. Loved one. It's yeah. not only about mm -hmm. losing a loved one, but it's also about losing a friendship, yeah. losing a job, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and how, how we process that, how we get over that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these kind of messages we presented to, the, to these um, adults and youths, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, sometimes um, Mara have to come all the way from Carousel so we can get together and do um, the adults groups, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we have done the NCFC, the National um, Committee for, Fam families yeah. for Families and Children, and they enjoyed our session, you know, people get emotional, but it's but that's what the it reality yeah. of what we, what we experience in our life, you yeah. know, because the book is all about, it's if you read the book, as you said, Peter didn't bring one of the book, read the book, it's like this author is speaking directly to you about the different challenges and obstacles that we face in our lives. Wow. You know, so these are the things we've, we presented in the high schools. Well, wow. gentlemen, the Hope Gala is this Saturday, October 22nd mm -hmm. at 6 and it ends at 10. You can get your tickets uh, through the um, Willie's Project and you can also get your tickets at the door. You don't want to miss it. Brad yeah. Patek on the day. You can be entertained. You have prizes to win once you purchase a ticket. And all uh, proceedings go to all of these ministries for a worthy cause for yeah. their resources. Yeah. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Thank you. Yep. And thank you. we thank you. wish you all the best of luck with this fundraiser. Thank you. I, I, I'd like to finally say that mm -hmm. hope is, is not just the word, yeah. Yeah. but exactly. uh, it's, uh, it's actually dispensed by you. Mm -hmm. And this is your opportunity to continue to spread hope. By making a pledge, making a donation. As a matter of fact, for this 60 bucks, you get buffet style food. Get buffet, you could win a prize, grandmaster one day, day. Grand grand day. Grand day. <laughs> You know, Grand Patico sing one song about rice and beans? Of course. Yeah, I listen to that. Exactly. <laughs> right? So there's so much for you to, 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 to get be entertained. You get a yeah. chance to win this flight wrong trip to Nashville, Tennessee, USA. You get a chance to win the Biltmore Plaza dinner and two nights stay. You know, one night, yeah. two, two nights. Mm -hmm. You get a chance to win that Tony's Beach Resort dinner and two nights stay. Plus, you get a chance to win the furniture set. I look on the furniture set. You know what's your furniture yeah, set? <laughs> man, I tell you what, man. Uh, we, it's going to be a great time. So yeah. Make sure that you hit yeah. up the gala. Enjoy. It's this Saturday. This coming Saturday. At the Biltmore. Starting yeah. at 6, 6 p.m. Yeah. to 10 p.m. One nice, nicely for yeah. um, the, for the time. people on, on the north will have transportation for you to what? come and go back. Free transportation, Free transportation, from transportation from the north. for your 60. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my God. Bringing awareness to, heal, uh, to healing communities in Belize and how to support their efforts. Uh, uh, Mario and Marlon, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Too. All right. We're going to take our final break of the morning. When we come back, we'll be wrapping, wrapping things, things up. up. So stay with us. We'll be right back.
just got a lot less complicated with Belize Bank Contactless MasterCard Debit Card. Introducing our standard debit and MasterCard Platinum Debit Cards. Now you can make purchases anywhere MasterCard is accepted with one tap, pay and go. Your contactless card never has to leave your hands, especially in these times. And your card is embedded with multiple layers of security. Platinum card holders get to enjoy extra benefits like price protection, purchase protection, trip inconvenience, and luggage protection, just to name a few. Start enjoying a cashless lifestyle today with the Belize Bank. If you are ailing due to a chronic disease and are left permanently invalid before retirement age, you may want to check if you qualify to receive invalidity benefit. The invalidity benefit exists for persons who are unable to continue working due to permanent illness. To qualify, you must be under 60 years old, must be sick for 26 consecutive weeks, and certified to be medically unable to perform any type of work, must have at least five years of paid SSB contributions, and at least five paid within the three months leading up to your illness. If you do not qualify for the invalidity pension, you may be eligible for the invalidity grant. Want to know more about invalidity benefits? Visit our website or contact any of our offices to have someone assist you. Also, be sure to visit our Facebook page and give us a like to stay informed. Social Security Board, safeguarding you, your family, your future. including our elderly, needs to stay connected with their loved ones. With SMART's Golden Citizen Broadband Program, senior citizens can sign up for 10 megabytes of unlimited internet at a low monthly cost of $25. Citizens over 65 can sign up with a valid ID and receive free installation plus one month free on selected broadband plans. Visit a Smart Showroom near you for more information on how you can enjoy Smart's Golden Citizen Broadband Program. Smart, bringing people together. Welcome back. Yes, and we're yes. back and just like that we've come to the end of our show for today. Uh, we're completely out of time. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love today's program, it you know, spreading the word of hope. It really was a hopeful, hopeful day, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah, we started off with Rotary, Rotary Sunrise and Rotaract. Yes. <laughs> and uh, they all came in to talk about their polio awareness run yeah it's actually a walk a walk uh -huh. sorry um but they did say that you might hurt you yourself could, yeah, you, know, you, you know, could run so if you want if you yeah. want you could run yeah. if you want <laughs> and of course that is this sunday beginning at 5 30 uh a.m at the marion jones stadium to memorial park and back mm -hmm. um it should be good as also a fundraiser to bring awareness to polio to end it once and for all we're at 99.9 .9 people definitely this close all right, and we had a great conversation with uh, my guys from BNB, actually <laughs> Ruhiel uh, Trejo, who is the Belikin brand coordinator, and Alex Ellis, who is the brand, Belikin brand specialist, mm. to provide us with information on BYOB, Belikin BYOB. It's a new promotion going on. It's actually Belikin Build Your Own Bash. Build right? Your Own Bash. You buy Belikin Beer, Belikin Stout, or Belikin Light. You check under that crown. There is a seven-digit code. You go to bellikin.com and you'll find a portal whereby you could actually put those seven digit, uh, that seven-digit code in. You follow what they have to tell you and automatically you're going to get a text and, a, and an or email, email or an yeah. email to tell you if you've won or not. If you win, you could win hmm? a neighbor's gift card, a $25 like gift card. A year supply of beer. That's the big thing. You could actually win... I'll uh, one a of the bag. A crate or a case. A case of Belly uh, Beer. Six pack. Six pack. You could get a Belly T-shirt. T-shirt. You got the, the battle opener. Yeah, you could get the opener yeah. as well. There's you a lot of prizes. the JBL speaker. JBL branded Belly King. And you could also win Belly King Beer for an entire year. And you enjoy that. That promotion is on now up until November 30th or while supplies last. Right. Make sure that you've got your crown and your ID when you if you're a winner, it. when you collect your prize mm -hmm. at any neighbor store countrywide or any B&B sales center or distribution center countrywide. Do you have any neighbors that I open? 
Neighbors want to get the available pan soon, soon, mm. very soon. Mm. All right? <laughs> it's actually spreading out there. It's yes. a great business opportunity for you as well. So check them out at Neighbors, uh, Neighbors Store. There is an app as well for Neighbors Store. So you could uh, do what you've got to do there and find out how you could become a Neighbors Store. Owner. And of course, sticking in that line of happiness and hope because Billiken brought us happiness. Oh, so we I end with hope. Uh, right. The Hope Gala uh, by the Belize project is this saturday the 22nd of october at 6 p.m at the biltmore plaza of course you want to be able to purchase your tickets uh you can purchase it at the door guys this this goes to uh these proceedings will go to any of these ministries that are there to supply hope and change for uh at risk youth at risk persons persons that are struggling a little bit with um with life challenges life's elements yeah. and you know whether that be <clears throat> women men children they are there to spread that message of hope and to help yeah. and you want to be able to help by donating to this gala on saturday Ex excellent um uh, hope primarily is dispensed by you mm. it is because of you we have hope it is because of you we've got the strength to do what we have to do mm. we just have to continue to dispense that strength. I agree. With that said, we need to go. Uh, birthday shout out? I, if I missed your birthday, happy birthday. Ah, <laughs> I can't. Uh, right. I don't know. So Do you, have a, you um, usually um, have a birthday shout out? Belated birthday greeting to Elizabeth McIntosh. Her birthday mm -hmm. was yesterday. Uh, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Happy birthday to you. Wishing you nothing but the very best. Cool lady, man. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, if we end the uh, belated birthday, we want to say a happy belated birthday to our lovely cameraman and just overall wonderful person that is Channel 5, Ricardo. Rick? Rick? Yes, his what? birthday was on Saturday. <laughs> so, happy belated birthday, Rick. Ricky. I tell everybody. Man. Happy birthday. What's Rick? <laughs> what, 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 what did man say? What? Huh? Look, at, man, Rick is, oh my gosh, Rick is everything <laughs> to us, man. Ricky, happy belated birthday. Happy belated Greetings birthday. You, brother. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, we're, we're, this is us sharing love wireless, bro. There we go. Yeah. You can't function without Rick. We know that. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> He's the engine. Thank you so very much. But uh, we've got to go. If you've got a birthday shout out, you've got a question, concern, drop us a line right here at OYE at channel 5 Belize. Com. And of course, you can catch our live stream on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ and our highlights on Instagram at OIE Delete. That's right. You can join us again tomorrow when you open your eyes. And you start your morning, right? <laughs> and as per usual, you keep your eyes, your minds, and your heart open. We're going to see you again soon. Make sure that you be a ray of hope today because today is a great day to be great. That's right. <laughs> We're going to see you soon. We're going to see you again tomorrow. Make sure that you enjoy your day. Bye. Bye. Open Your Eyes was brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank.